Hello, good evening, and welcome to Harmon Stadium here in Wapakoneta, as tonight on WOSN will bring you Western Buckeye League action between the Ottawa Glandorf Titans and the Wapak Redskins. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Scott Mag, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from Wapak. And Scott, somebody's going to start the league season 1-0 in the Western Buckeye League, and somebody's going to start the season 0-2. Yeah, absolutely. It's it, two teams that are 0-1 starting out, but they did play two very, very tough teams. I got a feeling Elmwood and Marion Local is going to win a lot of games, probably going to make the playoffs, both those two teams. So it's not like they've played slouches the first week. Uh, both teams played very good games. Otto Glenn is coming off of losing a lot, a lot of seniors. Yeah. So uh, the OG game, I know in that first half they were kind of nervous. A lot of guys I didn't see Friday night action came on play much better second half. If you look at the stats, Walpock, Marion Local, very close game. A couple key plays here, and then be the difference of the game. Tonight's keys to the game are brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the premier Chevrolet and Cadillac de dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. They're proud to call this home. Scott, when you take a look at the keys to the game first for the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, what does Ken Schreiner's club have to do to get a win tonight? No, number one, improve. I mean, I, you could see it last last week, first half, the jitters, second half, they came out more, much crisper, more aggressive. They played much better. It was toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They gave up a touchdown right at the end. Titans were driving, had a key turnover at late in the game. It was much closer than the 17-0 game. They, so they got to improve. They got to keep improving in this game. Second, they got to control the line of scrimmage. They got a lot of young guys, or new guys, I should say, on the front lines, on defensive line, offensive line. They had to come together. They got to control the line of scrimmage so they can run and then open up some passing game. And on the flip side for the Wapak Redskins, what does Travis Moyer's club have to yeah, do? He's got to, one, protect the football. They had one turnover last week. And they did force a turnover as well. But the Titans last week had two turnovers. So if they win the turnover battle, that gives them extra possessions. That's what they want to do. They want to ground and pound. They want to control the clock. You win the turnover battle, you can control the clock, control the game. Second of all, they got to win the turn, win the turnover battle, as I said, and protect the football is part of the key to the Wapak winning this game tonight. Two squads who are getting their, their Friday night sea legs under them. We'll get more Friday night action between these two squads when we return. It's Wapak. It's Ottawa Glandorf, and it's next right here on WOSN. Welcome back to Harmon Stadium, where tonight here on WOSN we'll bring you Western Buckeye League action between the Ottawa Glandorf Titans and the Wapak Redskins. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Both squads last week, Scott, started off 0-1, and, and we, we mentioned in the pregame show that uh, tough opponents Eastwood played in the state championship game not that long ago. Marion Locals won 11 <laughs> state championships in the last 20 years. So right. uh, stiff stiff competition in week one there for, for both squads there as you take a look at tonight's officials that you'll see uh, doing uh, fantastic work. And really, Scott, to, to kind of meander to the officials, we've seen games in the areas uh, rescheduled over yeah. the last couple of weeks because of the lack of officials. And Absolutely. Uh, we appreciate those guys coming out here tonight on this Friday night to, to make sure we've got some high school football for us. Yeah, absolutely. I I know there's a lot of a lot of games that got moved to Thursday and some moved to, got to Saturday. It's just uh, no one wants to be the official, so God bless these guys for being out there and Wanting to get yelled at by coaches and fans. <laughs> believe, it's a believe me, I, job. Yeah, I probably should thank. I should apologize for all the times I yelled at an official too. <laughs> so uh, Wapak <laughs> won the coin toss. They elected to defer until the second half. So Ottawa Glendorf will start with the football and uh, just 183 yards of total offense last week for the Titans. But when you replace 20 seniors that graduated last year for a, a group that took them to the state semifinals, it, it's to be expected early in the season that maybe it's not going to go just perfect from the get-go. Absolutely, and and they had some guys playing last week but they were playing in positions they haven't played in a long time so um you know the titans you could tell they're rusty and a little bit nervous but they they just kind of let things go and they they improved so much in the second half i, I know coach schreiner was uh and pleased with their growth in the second half but he really needs them to grow some more tonight to get a, a chance at a w Kyle Beach has the football teed up for the Wapak Redskins. There's 12 minutes on our Structure Outdoors Ohio scoreboard as we are set to begin the Western Buckeye League slate here between the Redskins and the Titans. Alex Schrader, one of the three men back deep for the Titans to receive the kickoff. Nice boot from Kyle Beach into the end zone. That's an automatic touchback in high school football, and the Titans will begin their first drive at their own 20-yard line. Yeah, it was a good, good kick. That was eight, nine yards deep in. That was very uh, – that might have been not even returned in college or pros. No. 
That's a great kick. So the Ottawa Glandorf offense, their offensive line from left to right looks like this. Will Schmitz, Trevor Strike, Caleb Yoder, Connor Kitchen, and Austin Moss. Uh, the quarterback, Landon Mormon, wearing number 22 like the old uh, the old school quarterbacks did back in the day. But Landon Mormon, a six foot, 165 pound senior, and he'll trigger the offense for the Titans here tonight against the Wapak Redskins. He'll be joined in the backfield by Alex Schrader. Send a man in motion to the bottom of your screen. As Mormon takes a snap. Actually, it's Cy Rump to his left. He'll take the handoff, gets back out to the 21-yard line, but swallowed up by that Wapak defense. Yeah, that was a great job by Mitchell and I think Mextro to get in there and close that uh, little bit of hole that was there right off the bottom. Maybe, I'm sorry, Truesdale was in there. I apologize. So second and nine upcoming here for the Titans is uh, rushed for just 58 yards last week and, and probably going to see uh, a, a little more ground game this this week against Wapak than we saw in week one, Scott. Yeah, I think so. And, and again, it's, a lot of that is uh, what Eastwood, they loaded the box, so they had to try to get the ball outside to get some speed on speed on the outside. And that's kind of something similar right there. Yeah, they tried, tried to pitch to Grant Schrader, yeah. and uh, luckily for the Titans, that is a forward pass when you, even though he threw it underhand, he does lob it forward, so yeah. it is an incomplete pass. And disaster averted there for the Titans. They were uh, facing either six points for Wapak, or they were going to be third and very long from inside their own 10-yard line. Yeah, absolutely. That was, uh, yeah, I think they had something out there. If you only would have handled that the ball there, you see on that, that turnover, there was no really a red shirt in the screen until he had to go back and down the ball there, kind of. You saw it on the Layfield Welding uh, and Supplies replay there. That might have been a, a double pass there, or yeah. a th thought about it that you saw the, the running back leak out of the backfield. Three wide receivers for the Titans at the top of your screen as Mormon in the shotgun, and now we'll hand off. Ball's loose, though, and they fumble, or they pounce right back on it as the Titans again to avert disaster as Alex Schrader pounces on the football, and that's going to be a three and out for the Titans. Yeah, I, you know, I, mean, I, I thought it was going to be a flag there as, uh, you know, I've seen. Uh, some bean bags go, and I seen a helmet from Caleb Yoder go flying, but great job of closing there by the uh, Redskins. Yeah, it looked like they're uh, on the replay, but I'm not sure that Alex Schrader ever really had a great handle on the football when he took the handoff there from Landon Mormon, and that will send the Titans back into punt formation as Connor Kitchen will be back deep to punt for the Titans. And he kind of, Titans kind of struggled last week with getting good snaps to him. Connor did a great job of picking it up off the turf most of the night. You see that? St snap struggle again as a high end over end kick doesn't go very far. Bounces the 35 yard line. It takes a great bounce for the Wapak Redskins at the 25 yard line. Just a, a two yard field position swing there for for the Redskins, and they're going to have great field position to start their first drive. Yeah, and unfortunately for the Titans, that ball was high enough, but it just kind of didn't take a Titan roll. It took a Wapakoneta roll and rolled back 10 yards. So Wapak going to start at their. Oh, or at the OG 25-yard line in. They are in business here to start their first drive of the night. His freshman quarterback, Caleb Moyer, trots onto the field. Of course, son of Wapak head coach Travis Moyer, who's in his ninth season, leading the Redskins. And they'll line up with a bunch of formation at the top of your screen. Send the guys back down to the bottom as Moyer lines up at a shotgun. Takes a snap, and he'll hand off to Jace Nowis. Nowis right up the middle, and he gets out to the 20-yard line. Move to the 19 there, but a, a nice surge ahead there by the junior running back. Yeah, as, as you can see from, from that play here, the little bit of replay, watch how these lines fire off, and they're 3, 4, 5 as the center is six yards downfield. They did a good job of moving the Titans back, and we kind of touched on that as the Titans want to win the line of scrimmage, and you're getting blown back six yards, and you don't win much with that. Ball at the 19-yard line is... Wapak will send three receivers, or two receivers and a wing, I should say, to the bottom of your screen as Moyer in the shotgun once again takes a snap. And uh, a little miscommunication there as half, half, start, half yeah. of the folks were on one and the center was on two. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. So that'll they, push the Redskins back five. It looks like they had something out there. I don't think the Titans really expected them to throw the football there. They were kind of bunched inside waiting for the run, and I think they had single coverage out there on the, on the right side that they might have led to something with maybe a wing blocker out there, but fortunately for the Titans, there was a penalty and marked them back five yards. Yeah, so that'll be second and nine instead of the second and four that it was going to be for the Redskins is Moyer. Lines back up in the shotgun. Basically a wing T, but out of the shotgun. He'll now turn to the sideline and get more instructions. Ball on that far side of the field, working into the one area of the field that is still in the sun as Moyer will go off tackle. Gets to the 20-yard line. Maybe he got back to the 19. 
and that'll bring up third and four, which is where the Redskins were before that costly penalty. Yeah, so they got the penalty yards back, but again, the, the Titans got kind of pushed back a little bit, not as much as the first time. Good job by uh, Grant Schrader to fight off the block and come away with that taco right there. So third and five here for the Redskins. Ball at the 20-yard line, 10 minutes remaining here in this first quarter. Of course, Wapak only scored seven points last week. Out of Landorf didn't score at all. It uh, would be a nice little boost of energy here for the Redskins as they get down. Oh, still on his feet. Oh, they need to him down. He's pulling people. Mass of humanity inside the 10, yes. inside the 5. Didn't get to see who the Redskin runner was. As they shove it down inside the five yard line, great individual effort there. And they get inside the five yard line as we take a look at the replay. It's Jace Nouse who got the carry in that jet motion. And um, we'll see if he went down. Uh, no, looks like he's stayed up the entire time. He knew it. And uh, just uh, you get a bunch of bodies shoving in one direction and get him down inside the five yard line. Yeah, and the Titans kind of kind of thought he was down and kind of gave up on it, and then he just kept battling. Good second effort there. So now we will get traditional wing tee from the Redskins as they'll turn around, hand off to Connor Mextroth, tries to get in the end zone. It's going to be just a yard shy there on the fourth consecutive run by the Redskins. I think Yoder there was on the stop. So it'll be second and goal now here for the Redskins. And you see that power football where you just line up in the wing tee and try to smash it in there. Yeah, I, I would uh, expect two or three plays here for sure. Mechstroth and Naus in the backfield behind Moyer. We'll take the snap, hand off to Mechstroth, powers into the end zone, a one-yard touchdown run by the senior. Puts the Redskins on the board, 6-0. See the Layfeld welding supplies replay as when you only got to get one yard, you just put your head down and barrel through there, and Mextro gets in for the touchdown. Yeah, and the Titans didn't fill the hole. They kind of tackled him from the side and the back, and his momentum carried him in. Titans got to come up and plug that hole and get his momentum going backwards instead of forward and falling into the end zone like that. The snap is back. The hold down, the kick is up, and the kick is good for the Wapak Redskins. And we'll take our first timeout. Preston Meyer makes the PAT for Wapak. They lead 7 0 here on WOSN. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Layfell Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. And we saw a steady, steady dose there of Layfell Industrial Welding Supplies instant replays there on that first drive as the Redskins only had to go 25 yards. They do it in five plays and punch in on a Connor Mextro touchdown run to give them a 7 0 lead over the Ottawa Glendorf Titans here in Wapak as Kyle Beach has the football teed up, excuse me, and he'll kick it deep for Wapak. And it goes just out of bounds, trying to pin OG here in this corner at the bottom of your screen, and instead that's going to be a, a costly penalty, and Ottawa Glendorf going to have much better field position than they did on their first drive. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and see if the Titans can hold on to the football. They kind of struggle a little bit of – Grabbing the ball, they had maybe a couple plays there where they could have uh, done something, but it, again, we kind of touched on this in the pregame. A lot of these guys, uh, a lot of varsity action here, just starting to get in, a little bit of nerves kind of settled in. Same thing kind of happened last week. Well, and, and Ken Schreiner said, you know, we had – we had correctable mistakes last week. It wasn't, you know, things that, you know, it wasn't talent. It wasn't anything like that. It was they made miscues at inopportune times, and, that, and that's stuff you can yeah. fix throughout the season. Right. That's, and, and, and to his credit, and he, he mentioned that to me too, the kids never quit. They, they still played hard, and, you know, that, that's, that's good as a coach. If they're playing hard, they still want to win, and good things will happen eventually. Landon Mormon rolls, fires. Ball is batted down by Mikey Lee of Wapak, the defensive end, senior. Puts his mitts on the ball, and uh, that's going to be second and ten here for the Titans. Yeah, that's a good job. Couldn't, can't get to the quarterback. Get your hands up, knock it down, and did a wonderful job there. 8.45 to go here in the first quarter as Ottawa Glandor still looks for their first Lee's famous recipe first down of the evening as Landon Mormon went 10 for 25 last week against Eastwood in his debut as the starting quarterback. Uh, basically strictly a safety in his, uh, in his previous football life and now uh, kind of had to flip his mind around. Uh, like, hey, you're going you're gonna to be the one slinging it. You're not gonna, you don't want those DBs <laughs> picking it off from yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Mormon back to pass. We'll sling it here to the near side. Alex Schrader, he makes a man miss to the 40. A big stick there in the open field by Nate Metzger of Wapak. Cuts him down at the 40-yard line, but it is a gain there for the Redskins to make it third and a little more manageable. Yeah, good job by Landon Morning. Kind of slung this one out sideways. As you can see from the replay, got ahead kind of guy and got it out quick. Kind of sidearm sling, got it out there and allowed Alec to get some uh, running room up there. Yeah, just got it out the holster there from yeah. the, the sidearm, and, uh, but it is a pickup of six there. It'll bring up third and four here with the ball in the 41-yard line for the Titans as Caleb Yoder stands over the football. The 5'11 senior setter gets set to snap it back to Mormon. In the shotgun with three receivers to the top of your screen. Mormon will look to throw once again. Fires nearly in the hands of Grant Schrader. He lost... All right, just a bit behind him. Luckily, it didn't land in the hands of a Redskin. And again, Wampa, or excuse me, out of Glandorf, going to be three and out. Didn't pick up that least famous recipe first down. Right, and kind of what you touched on there. I mean, he, that's a correctable error. He had the guy open. He made the right read. He just waited a split second too long to get rid of the football. Therefore, it was behind him. You know, I, he's making all the right reads. It's just that that timing thing, and that's those reps, and they'll that'll come. The Titans, like always, they last year they were one and three, won the state semis. They always get better. You know, and it's going to be, and Landon's a work in progress, and he knows that, and so does the coaching staff. He's making the right reads. Eventually, he'll make that reception. And it is just the first quarter of sure. his second varsity start is another high end over end kick. This one doesn't take the Wapak bounce. It'll be down by the Titans at the 44-yard line, and that is where Wapak will start their second drive of the night after a second consecutive three and out here by the OG Titans. So Wapak, with the, with the good field position with their first drive, Scott. We didn't get to see necessarily maybe a whole lot of variety, or, or and really, they, they didn't have to. They, they had five plays and 25 yards. Uh, do, we, do we expect to see more of maybe that power straight up wing tee, or, or maybe be a little bit more in a shotgun here? Yeah, right. I think this is uh, tells you right here, they go three wide here. It's more of a not not the wing tee that they have. Trying to spread the Titans out. My guess is going to hang out and go right up the middle. Moyer? Slings it to Naus in the open field. He's out in the open field, and wow. he could be off to the races. Jace Naus, 15-10, brought down inside the 10-yard line as Grant Schrader makes yep. the touchdown saving tackle for the Titans, but a big play there by the Redskins on first and 10. Yeah, good job. by. They got single coverage out there, and they got what they wanted and ran that. The Titans kind of were expected up the middle like I thought, and then the great block by number eight out there, Will Campbell. Yeah, to spring him and hit good hustle by Grant Schrader to not run him down, or that was six. So the ball will be spotted at the nine-yard line after a first down there, the least famous recipe first down. For Wapak is there in business once again at the nine-yard line. Moyer in the shotgun with Mextro to his left. Two receivers and a wing to the bottom of your screen. They'll send Truesdale in motion to the top and off to Mextro. He is swallowed up as Will Schmitz in on the stop. For Ottawa Glandorf. Cy Rump on there as well. Just a whole host there. And yep. Ottawa Glandorf runs uh, their base. They would like to run a 5 2, which you don't see all that often anymore in high school football. You could view it as a 3 4 if you'd like, but uh, a lot of uh, big body guys down there in the, in the heart of that middle of the front line there for the Titans. Yeah, and the Titans, you know, they've seen this a lot of years, this wing tee, and it's, it's almost kind of a dying bird, but yeah. the Titans got to load up the box. Nouse and Mextro in the backfield. He'll hand off to Nouse. He's got a hole up the middle of the field. Dives to the end zone. Uh -oh. Couldn't get there, maybe. Ball is still loose. I think Pounced Titans on got it. it, I believe. We got one official marking it down at the one-yard oh, line. Gonna and down. they're going to say he's down. So Mextro reached for the goal line. Didn't get there or did get there, and the ball was loose. But the official on the far sideline marked him down at the one-yard line. We'll see on the Lanefeld Industrial Welding Supplies replay here. You see that hole open up and tries to dive for the uh, yeah. end zone and had that ball punched out. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. What, I don't understand. It looked like yeah, that ball was out Look, before that knee was down. But, uh, again, real time, that's a tough call to make. So it'll be second and one, third and one here from the goal line. Hand off to Mextro. He goes off right tackle and another one-yard touchdown run by the senior. His third touchdown run of the year makes it 13-0 Wapak. Great job by the, the big guys up front and the power off the ball and blowing the Titans back a little bit. And looks like Cy Rump, nope. Uh, Alex, Alex Schrader. Schrader trying to come and fill that hole, but it's a little bit too late. And when you're only when you're trying to stop him one yeah. yard short, right. that's, that's a tough spot to be in. Absolutely. 
So Preston Meyer will come on for the extra point for the Redskins. High snap, put down, kick is up, and the kick is through the uprights, and good. Wapak leads out of Glandor 14-0 here in the first quarter on WOSN. A pair of one-yard touchdown runs by Connor Mextro. A pair of one-yard Allen Davis Insurance touchdown runs. As Wapak leading 14-0, Allen Davis Insurance, your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Wapak with a 14-0 advantage here over Ottawa Glandorf. And Scott, we, we talked about, you know, the Redskins go five plays, 25 yards, their first drive. That one, four plays, 56 yards, and you get the big play from Nows to set them up in business. We've seen a little bit of everything here from yeah, Wapak and did. nearly Owen. I think they caught, caught the Titans again, expecting run, and they threw it out. It was a good play call by the uh, Wapak coaching staff and, and kind of got the Titans reeling there. Kyle Beach will boot it deep once again, trying to get it here along the near sideline, and it goes out the back of the end zone, and out of Glandorf will start at their own 20 once again. What a great weapon that is because, you know, he kicks it eight yards deep, and you know that the team's going to start at the 20 every time, and they're not going to get a, a run back or anything. It's nothing. What a great weapon that is. No. Not, not even a wind or anything to aid that. So, I, you know, if the wind was behind them, that probably gets to the track. And, and the Titans start their next drive. You know, Wapak has had field position of they started at the their the Ottawa Glandorf 25 or excuse me Wapak started at the Ottawa Glandorf 25 yard line and then their own 44 OG starting field position their own 20 twice and their own 35 one time yeah. that's a that's a big difference yeah, right, absolutely when you got to go guaranteed 80 if not more each each possession it's it's quite a it's quite a weapon you have there so uh, mark Labor Day on your calendar this week, this coming couple of weeks, is the second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom All family of dealerships. The race begins at the Sunnydale House, where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. Have more to celebrate as the launch of academies in Allen East and Spencerville take place in September. To sign up, Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. LifeWise of Allen County 5K presented by Tom All family dealerships. It's on Labor Day at 9 a.m., in Elida. So the Ottawa Glandorf Titans look to start their third drive here of the night. Got a couple of uh, nice nice movement forward on the, on the last drive, but got to third down and, and couldn't pick up that least famous recipe first down, and they'll try it again here as Mormon will be in the shotgun. Alex Schrader to his left with one wide receiver to the top of your screen and two to the bottom as they'll send Cy Rump in motion. Hand off to Schrader. I think that's Cy oh, Rump. I got, him, right. I, got, I got him backwards. Yeah. The 42 and the 12 as Rump takes the handoff yeah. up the middle of the field out to the 23-yard line. Gain of three there on first down for the Titans. That was Ryan Ross in motion, I believe, too. You start messing with these shadows. And yeah, right, absolutely. <laughs> you, get the, you get the shadows and the sun. And it's, <laughs> and it's not like we're right on top of them. We're still... 300 steps above the field to get up here to this press box as well. A beautiful press box yes. here at Harvard Stadium. Wapak's done a fantastic job renovating uh, and taking care of this fantastic facility as they'll pitch here to the near side side. Rump with the carry, and he is swallowed up and sprung down by Jaden Rampula. Rampula, 5'10", 200-pound junior from his defensive tackle spot, slings down Cy Rump. He makes the tackle for a loss, and that's going to bring up third and long here for the Titans. Great effort. Comes from the backside, no, get, no quit, and comes and runs him down and uh, pulls him down. It doesn't the grab the horse collar, yep, doesn't right. grab the face mask, grabbed right. him around the shoulders, but a, yep. a nice play there by the junior. Yeah, he didn't grab him on the top of the shoulders pads, so that would have been horse collar, right? You, you, you were exactly right. Got him by the armpits and, and drug him down. So third and ten upcoming here for the Titans. Two receivers to each side of the field as they'll send Mormon in the shotgun once again. He's going to keep it himself up the middle. Got to the 23-yard line, 24-yard line. And that's as far as he got there. It looks like Otto Glandorf going to be forced to punt once again. Comes up short from another least famous recipe first down. Yeah, again, the Titans aren't controlling the line of scrimmage and kind of Walpock's front four controlling that, and it's causing problems for the Titans in the running game. So Otto Glandorf will send Connor Kitchen back in the punt formation, and we've seen those snaps that you mentioned earlier, Scott. Both uh, have been a little... Uh, higher than I'm sure Ken Schreiner would like. That one a little better as Kitchen will send it 
uh, knuckle puck. Bounces at the 46-yard line. Goes out of bounds right at the 50. And again, great starting field position for the Redskins when they start their drive. Yeah. Had the short field all, all game. Titans got to do – they got to flip the field a little bit here, right? The Titans have been playing in the shadows of their goal, and uh, yeah. Walpock's been playing on OG side of the field majority of this game so far. The Titans need to get – come up with maybe a turnover or th three and out or something. They got to flip the field and, and do something something positive. You, you can see, you know, there's kind of a lot of a little bit of negative energy out there for the Titans. They just – something's just got to go right for them. You know, they just, they're just they playing hard. It's just, just been half step short. Moyer will be in a shotgun this time. The 6'1 freshman, coach's son, sends Mextro in motion to the top of your screen. And Moyer will hand off, fake the handoff to Jace Nelson, looking to throw. And he's got a man wide open. It's intercepted. Picked off by the Titans as they'll bring it back to the far sideline. Still on his feet. Breaks through a couple of tackles into the 45 to the 40-yard line. And is finally shoved out of bounds. Didn't get to see who the number that was. That was uh, Carter Dooling. Carter Dooling. Senior. Makes the interception, and Moyer had a man up the yes, seam. Yes, he did. And he underthrew it. I, I don't think he's seen Dueling. Dueling was kind of sitting back in that zone and kind of like reading his eyes, and he did have the guy. He had him, and then Dueling kind of like snuck in there right at the last minute. I think after the pass was thrown, good job by Carter to sneak in there and get it. And then after he made the reception and running hard and getting some positive yards, and just like that, just like I said, the Titans needed to flip the field to get something positive happen. Let's see if the Titans can build on this. So Otto McLandor's best starting field position by far of the night. They'll start at the Wapak 38-yard line as Mormon will step back in the shotgun. Mormon awaits the snap, fakes the handoff to Cy Rump. He'll chuck it. He's got a man up the middle of the field. Grant Schrader breaks a tackle inside yeah. the 15-yard line, spun down at the 11 as a touchdown-saving tackle made by the Wapak Redskins. And now the Titans yeah. get a momentum play, another one there in business. Right, again, it's, it's all confidence. It's one good thing leads to another. And this is kind of that same play that he missed on in that third down earlier in the game, that seam route by Grant Schrader. This time it was on the left side of the, of the field instead of the right side, and he hit him in in motion and was right there, right between the numbers. Good job by Grant to get up the field. Nate. Good job by the Titans to put a couple positive plays in here. So the ball on the 12-yard line, first first down of the night for the OG Titans as they'll pick up the least famous recipe first down. As Mormon in the shotgun once again, he's got Rump to his left. They'll send Schrader in motion to the top of your screen. A fake the handoff. Mormon swallowed up in the backfield yeah. as Caden Ware right there on the scene immediately to drop the yeah. Titan quarterback back for a loss of about four yards and, there and on I second, first down. I think that was designed to kind of, you know, uh, Rump was trying, maybe going to get the ball because it seemed like all the guys were blocking for him to go right, and then I, I don't know if Mormon missed the handoff or what, but it, it just seemed like that play just was kind of uh, – blown up from the start there. So second and 15 now for the Titans with the ball at the 17-yard line. They still, of course, can get a first down here before it's first and goal. Rump the man in motion. Mormon in the shotgun. He'll drop back to pass. We'll fire to the top of your screen. It is caught by Dueling inside to five. Did he get Strength into the pylon? pulls himself in there. He Good does. shot. A 15-yard touchdown pass from yeah. Landon Mormon to Carter Dueling. Ryan Ross, excuse me, 16, 18. They all look yeah, the they same. Yeah, they look same, especially in this one. <laughs> I thought it was Carter Dooling. I was going to say. So Ryan Ross, the touchdown catch you see here on the Lakefeld Welding Industrial Supply replay, just throwing it up there. As, no, that's 16. Dooling. Yeah, that's that's Dooling. Dooling. So yep. Carter Dooling with the touchdown grab, his first of the season. Yep. And the first touchdown of the season by the Titans makes it 14-6 as they'll send the extra point unit on. Tyler Honebrink on for the extra point. Snap is back. The hold is down. The kick is up. Maybe a piece of it. But one in. And it did go over the crossbar yep, sure and did. in. So 14-7 to score. We'll step aside. It's Western Buckeye Lake football between Wapak and OG here on WOSN. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak and Delphus is our first down sponsor tonight. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Of course, the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak. Probably hit it with the... A rock if I had a strong enough arm. Not too far from here, Wanda and Ryan Hain do a fantastic job running the Lee's Famous Recipe chickens here in Wapakin and Delphus. And, man, if I, if I talk about any more Lee's Famous Recipe, uh, my, my mouth's going to be watering up here, so i gotta, I got to keep that to myself. But you see a couple of Lee's Famous Recipe first downs there for the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, and, and they've cut this lead to 14-7, got that positive momentum that you talked yep. about, Scott, to, to get rolling here in the first quarter. Yeah, and, and good. Um, 
Landon did a great job of recognizing that Carter Dooling was had single coverage on the outside and threw it up. Carter's a big kid, went and got it, and then he just dragged the other two defenders into the end zone with him. Great play by both quarterback and receiver there. So Mextro, I believe, takes the kickoff. Nope, Will Campbell, eight and six. It's tough. It's tough this high up. Yes. Will Campbell with the return for the Redskins. And he'll bring it out to about the 35-yard line. And, um, and, and really, Scott, we also talked about the Titans needed to flip that field. They get the touchdown, but then uh, Wapak starting on their own 35-yard line. That's um, statistically going to be their worst starting field position of the night. Yeah, and, and again, they, like you said, they, they got the touchdown. They got some positive things going. They made a great defensive effort last time. The Titans need to put plays together, right? Young, young teams need to start putting some good things. Our inexperienced teams need to put stuff like together to build confidence. Jace now to hand off. Gets just shy of the 39-yard line, so a gain of four there on first and ten. And uh, you can't go broke taking a profit here if you're Wapak. One, probably looking to ch ch chew up a little time. Your defense has been on the field for an awful long time. Yeah, and, and if you notice, too, as well, as the, the Titans had three or four guys at the ball there. The first two possessions when Wapak kind of marched right down the field both times, Titans had one or two guys single tackling. There they had three or four guys. You know, you get a little pep in your step when you get a touchdown and some good things happen. It's, Crazy how that works. Caleb Boyer in the shotgun once again as they'll flip the field as Grant Hauser goes to the top of your screen with Mextro. They'll hand off to Naus once again. He goes off left tackle. He's in the open field. Hurdles Ooh, a defender. Great tackle by that's that Metzger, 22. That's Landon, well, that's Mormon. Landon Mormon. Excuse Landon me. Mormon. Metzger's makes 23. The, I'm makes sorry. the touchdown saving tackle potentially there as Naus had to go up and over as you see the Layfeld Welding and Industrial Supply replay. Uh, tried to hurdle and yeah, it good just job. couldn't get there. Yeah, but good job by Landon Mormon. He misses that, and that might have won to the house. Yeah, no, and you, the coaches teach you, see what you hit at the last yeah. moment there. He's, he's got his head up trying to trip up Jace Nelson yeah. and was able to do that. But it was a least famous recipe first down here for the Wapak Redskins as Moyer in a shotgun once again. They'll send Campbell in motion to the bottom of your screen. Moyer rolling out, pitch and catch to Jordan Sh Schneider. He's out to the 40-yard line, just shy of the 39-yard line. As Dueling makes the tackle there, but it's another first down for Wapak. Manny Carrillo out here out here on uh, single coverage, given uh, plenty of cushion, and good job by the Redskin coaching staff to recognize that and then do a little five, six, eight yard out and then turn it up the field. So either Carrillo's got to, the Titans got to maybe uh, go man or something on that, or he's got to tighten up that uh, cushion he's given out here. That Carrillo with 5'7", 160, 160 pound, Senior, yeah, now, and now you can see him out there at the 40. He's manning up and, and taking away that cushion. Moyer drives ahead of the 35-yard line, but he takes a big hit from the Ottawa Glendorf linebacker, but it's still a gain of about six there on first down. And uh, you look at the replay, you see Moyer get that head of steam, but then he runs into a brick wall. Justice Pope and uh, Alex Schrader there. So big stop there by the Titans, but it still is. Uh, moving forward, there is a timeout on the field in the quarter. Oh, well, that is the end of the first quarter here uh, at Wapak. So, 14-7 uh, lead for the Redskins over the Ottawa Glendorf, over the Ottawa Glendorf Titans here in this Western Buckeye League. Lip Lifter will come back with second quarter action here on WOSN. This second quarter of action tonight brought to you by Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping and lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Wapak leading out of Glandorf 14 to 7 here as his second quarter begins. And Scott, things looked somewhat uh, meek there, or bleak yeah. in the first quarter for Ottawa Glandorf, but they get the interception, they get the touchdown, and um, they're right back in this ball game. Now, uh, Wapak head coach Travis Moyer told us, it, you know, one of the keys of the game was we got to win the line of scrimmage, and I, th I think they did that here yeah, in this first yeah, quarter. I, I think so too. And, you know, the Titans just strung a couple big plays together, and, you know, they're. They'll, the coaches over here looking at that tape, I've seen that, that seam route they've looked at about five or six times, so that I think they're going to make some adjustments on that. But uh, Titans got to stop this run. I, you know, they, They've done it not near enough tonight. Second and three for the Redskins uh -oh. upcoming. Ball's loose. Moyer scoops it up, but he is gobbled up by Dueling yeah. as he just Carter. slings down the Wapak quarterback, and Carter Dueling will sling him back to past the original, right at the original line of scrimmage, and that'll bring up third and long here. For a team that likes to run the football, that, you know, third and ten's not good, but good job by Carter to recognize, you know, when that ball got loose, he shot out of a cannon to get up there. I think he was thinking he was thinking six or what, but he wanted <laughs> them to close on that quarterback, and, you know, good for him that he did not let him out of his grabs, and, you know, he basically took him down 
So it was a good job by Carter, good recognition and, and way to be uh, around the football. So third and ten upcoming for the Redskins. Moyer in the shotgun once again. They'll send Campbell in motion to the bottom of your screen. He'll take the snap and roll. Moyer turns, fires, gets to Schneider. He's at the 30-yard line. Is that enough for a yep. Lee's famous recipe? First down it is. Yeah. At minimum, they're going to measure as they've stopped the I clock here. I think this official here on the, yep. on the side saying first down. So. So that'll move the chains for Wapak as they'll continue this drive. So that's the sixth play of this drive. As you see, a great look there from our WOSN crew as Schneider takes the p easy pitch and catch. Yeah. Uh, Might have got rolled up on there just a little bit at the yeah. end. And they're taking advantage of the Titans. The Titans are kind of playing a zone, and what they're doing is they're sending the receiver deep to pull the, the uh, defensive back that goes with them, and then they sneak a guy underneath, and they, they're, they're not filling those seven-yard out patterns. It's hurting them. Hauser and Truesdale motion back to the top of your screen as they'll turn around and hand off to Jace Nows. He's got a blocker in front of him to the 25, to the 20. Ooh. Big hit there by the Titan D. My goodness gracious. Somebody stood him up, and I think that Justice Pope laid, laid the wood on that one. But still a nice gain there of about nine yards on first down. Take a look at this replay. Jace yeah. Nows comes off tackle. Thought he had some open field, and then boom. I think They'll Pope, sit him down. Pope was low, and I think Rump on the high side, I believe. So second and one upcoming here. They'll go back to the traditional wing tee. One wide receiver to the bottom of your screen as Moyer will turn, hand off to Mextro. Makes a man miss, gets inside the red zone, gets to the 17-yard line. But that's enough for Elise's famous recipe first down. Good job by Moss filling that hole a little bit. Just unfortunately for him, he didn't get him until he was a yard or two down the field. And I think part of that is the uh, Wapakoneta front four is kind of our front five excuse me is pushing the titans back one or two yards and then they're making the play so the titans has got to get a little bit tougher and push forward instead of getting being pushed back so moyer will line up at the shotgun this time on first and 10 for the redskins as the clock continues to tick 9 40 to go here in this first half driving moyer turns fires to now in the open field at the 15 tries to slip past a tackler can't do it as he'll hang on for dear life as Pope in on the tackle, as was Landon Mormon. Good job, good closing speed by the Titans. Getting a lot of guys at the ball, which kind of weren't at the beginning of the game here. But just that that same play we saw the last time Wapak yep. ran it, went for big yardage, and instead out of a Glandorf. And one of the things that they mentioned in their, their week one opener was, you know, their linebackers might have overran a play or two that really cost them. Didn't see that there on, on that second and, or on that first and ten. No, I seen some closing speed on that. That was nice to see. Tenth play of the drive upcoming here for the Redskins. As Moyer will send a couple of guys in motion. Truesdale and Mextro to the bottom of your screen. He'll hand off to Daus. And he's oh, almost loose. And it looks like the Titans scooped up the football. Thank you, right. We'll wait and see. Yeah, and they come out of the bottom of the pile with it. Number 50 for Ottawa Glandorf, Caleb Yoder. Yep. Lands on the football. One of the things Travis Moyer told us the Redskins had to do was protect the football. That's the second first-half turnover. They'll get a look at it here on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies replay. He had it. And then a helmet straight to the football by Alec Schrader. Yep. And he Good forces job. the fumble he and Yoder sure pounced right on it. Yeah. Man, they're making us look like prophets. <laughs> our our pre-game pre talked about control the turnover battle. And right now the Titans are winning. 8.45 to go here in this second quarter. Titans will begin on their own 16-yard line. Mormon will be in the shotgun. Ball nearly bounced past him, and he's in the open field out to the 35-yard line, or excuse me, the 25-yard line. He picks up the Lynx famous recipe first down. Mextro with the tackle, but uh, the chains move for the Titans. A nice first down call there. As, as we see on the replay, almost lost the handle on it as it bounced off his hip on the snap, but got out to the 25-yard line for a first down. Yeah, and, and it's a good job. We, we've been kind of saying bad things about the Titans up front, but they did a good job blocking. Yeah. And that's, that was probably the biggest hole that they have had. And usually the, the, the Redskins have been dominating the line of scrimmage, but that time the Titans did a good job. They were on their blocks, and you could run a semi through that hole. <laughs> so Mormon uh, didn't need that big of a hole, but yeah. he'll take it every time if he can get it. As he'll have sent two receivers to the bottom of your screen. He'll turn, fire, got rump up the middle of the yeah. field to the 40-yard line. Another first down for the Titans as they'll move the chains once again. A least famous recipe first down. Back-to-back -back plays here for the Titans. <laughs> right, if you look at this replay, Mormon just got rid of that just in time because he had a few Redskins barreling down, and that was such a quick hitter. 
that uh, kind of got the Redskins uh, caught off guard there, running back to their zone. And it was a quick hitter with Cy Rump ran past the linebackers trying to fill. And uh, good good play call by the Titans there. Yeah, they try to teach you, you know, your yeah. defensive lineman. If you're not going to get there, get your hands up. Well, yeah. you don't have time to get out of your stance really before <laughs> Absolutely. Mormon's getting rid of it. Yeah, you know, or the linebackers to go back and fill and get in their uh, zone coverage. You got two guys in motion now for the Titans, and it looks like uh, the Titans are going to have to call a timeout. timeout. Yeah. Because I think if two guys go in motion, they have to get set before you snap it, I believe. So a timeout called there by the Titans as they were facing a potential penalty there. We'll step aside. 14-7. Wapak leads Ottawa Glandorf here in the second quarter on WOSN. After the Ottawa Glandorf timeout, timeouts brought to you tonight by Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get you Results that move you. Out of Glandorf, first and 10 here from their own 40-yard line after back-to-back -back first downs on their last two plays as Landon Mormon will be in the shotgun and a penalty flag from the official at the top of our screen. Take picks it up, I guess. Inadvertent flag? I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what would <laughs> he just shook it. I don't know. But we'll get all lined up once again. First and 10 for the Titans from their own 40-yard line. It's Landon Mormon. Lines up in the shotgun once again. Looks like he was going to run it. Instead, we'll sling it to Rump up the middle of the field. Rump still on the loose. Breaks a tackle inside the 35, down just shy of the 30-yard line. Uh, flag, though. Oh, we got a penalty flag back at Ottawa Glandor's 45-yard line. As Alex Schrader stands there. Mystified by the penalty call, but you look at the replay here. Looks like Mormon is going to fake the run, sling it right yeah. up the middle of the field, and rump. Yeah, I uh, think just wide open there up the seam. Yeah, the Titans have kind of found something here. I don't know if Walpock's playing zone or what, but they're getting that guy right up that seam. They've hit, they've hit that two or three times. So now they've we got a penalty flag at the Walpock 35 yep. and the Ottawa Glendor 45 yard line. And we'll see what the call is. I have to imagine down here near the 34-yard line is where Rump ended up. Is there maybe a face uh, mask or maybe face mask, hit or unsportsmanlike yep, yep. conduct potentially? Here we go. Two penalties. Legal man down field yep. Titans. Does that take precedence? Probably, and then we'll get a personal foul after the play. So it's a dead ball foul. Yeah. So we'll be somewhere near the 50-yard line, roughly? Ish. <laughs> yeah. So they got a mark back from the 45-yard line of where the five-yard penalty was, then go 15 yards downfield. Correct, I, th I think. Be in, they'd start from the 40. Goes back to the 35. So, yep, you're right, right at the 50. So it'll be first and 10, probably at the 50. Back five and up forward 15. Yeah. <laughs> And this is always the best part of, you know, offsetting penalties or not offsetting penalties. we got to go back here. You get a mass of, <laughs> mass of bodies in different <laughs> colors moving this way, thinking, all right, we're going to be here. No, 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 we got to bring it back out to the 50-yard line. But it is going to be a least famous recipe first down here for the Titans. So uh, I think technically is that three consecutive plays here with first downs for OG? Yeah. And let's so, see if the Redskins coaching staff can uh, maybe – they're light like rump coming up the seam or Grant Schrader. See if they can maybe go man-to-man -man here and try to get him out of that quick hitter up the seam. Mormon looking, throws to his left. Good it job. is caught. Oh. Great job by, by Dueling. Nope, yeah. Ross. Ryan Ross yeah. makes the catch Campbell. along that far yeah. sideline. Good job by Campbell. Closing speed. He, uh, Ryan Ross had about five yards, and when he caught it, Campbell was right there, as you can see. Kind of did a little five-yard out. He's there, and then, boom, he came and closed, and, Good sure tackle. Bob popped it loose. Yeah. Nice open field tackle there by yeah. uh, Will Campbell. Campbell. Absolutely. And I'll make second and five here upcoming for the Titans. Ball at the 45-yard line at Redskin territory as Mormon will be in the shotgun with Schrader to his right. Three receivers to the bottom of your screen with one to the top. As Mormon going to keep it off himself. Right oh. tackle. Mikey Lee nearly blew that up, and instead yeah. Jaden Rampula got in there. Did he rip the football loose? They did, the official on the far side says he's down, but he did. And Jaden Rampula, you see number 57 on your screen, uh, with his hands on his head like, ah, just a half second and we would have had that ball out. Absolutely, but good job by first was Lee up there, and then, then uh, Rampula and both <laughs> those guys are ripping at the ball. Great job by the front four by the Redskins to get penetration and 
I think they were in the backfield before the ball, the ball was it there, was, it looked uh, like. It wasn't much difference, but no. you saw on that replay, Rampula had his had his palm on the ball and tried to rip it out as we've got an injured Titan on the field as Trevor Streit, the 5'9", 205-pound junior is down on the field. We'll step aside. 14-7, Wapak leads out of Glandorf here in the second quarter on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. 14-7 to score on the Structure's Outdoor Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard as Wapak leads out of Glandorf Titans with the drive going. Fourth play of the drive, or fifth play of the drive, excuse me, upcoming on third and four. Landon Mormon will be in the shotgun with two receivers to each side. He'll drop back to pass, turns to his right, fires. Oh, nice Scooped catch. up by Dueling. He got the first down. Is going to be swallowed up by a big pile of Redskins, but it's going to move the chains once again. Ottawa Glandorf keeps the drive alive. That was a heck of a catch by Carter Dueling to go down there and get it. That was below his waist. Lee's That's famous. Lee's famous recipe first down yeah. there for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. They're, I think, third or fourth. fourth. They're fourth of this drive, as you yeah. see the One. replay here. Is he just found yeah, was, and a nice catch maybe there. Maybe I should by, send ankles, not by knees. <laughs> was that was say, impressive. <laughs> the nice shin-high catch there yes. by Dueling to move the chains. Yeah. But uh, the Titans now into Wapak territory. Two things that does. It, one, keeps the clock running, right? And you get closer to a uh, scoring position, keep the ball away from the Redskins. Mormon in the shotgun going on two this time. We'll sling it out wide to Schrader. Schrader in the oh, open field. Oh, got a field. block. And but it's got, probably going to call a clip. We got a big stick. The ball's yeah. loose. Or, no, excuse me. Looked like Schrader stayed on his feet. Shoved out of bounds. We got a penalty flag here back at the 40-yard yeah. line. And it's a hold on the Titans. Yeah, I think it's on uh, number eight, I believe, out there. That was Griffin Simon was uh, he had two guys, and they both went flying. He did a heck of a job. Great effort. But unfortunately, got a little bit too much of the jersey, I think. And a great individual effort there by yeah. Schrader to even get around the corner yeah, because you saw a couple red jerseys come flying up the field. Now, maybe they got held a little bit, but to even get to the outside there is a, a nice play by Schrader. And then the carry guy is about five, six yards, too, was pretty yeah. impressive. No, absolutely. But uh, th those holding penalties, Scott, are, are costly, costly yeah. penalties. Absolutely, because it's from the sp it's a spot foul. So not only is it. It's 10 yards from the spot. He was already he was two or three yards behind the line of scrimmage, so that really ends up being about a 13-yard penalty. So I'll be back at the 49-yard line. That'll be first and very long for the Titans. they got to get to the 26-yard line. So Mormon fakes the hand off to Rump. He'll throw it back to Rump on the old throwback. Plenty of room to run for Rump. He's out to the 40-yard line to the original line of scrimmage. But another penalty flag on the field is you got a man-on-man yeah, -man block for the Titans and might have got caught for the hold. I think they're going to call a hold on uh, maybe a 57 Austin Moss. And it is. Yep. A holding penalty as we go under five minutes to play here in this first half. You see at the top of your screen, Moss will be right at the 48-yard line. And uh, right there, right he got there, the yep. jersey of Truesdale. He did a really nice job of not grabbing on, but you saw the right. official right behind him throw the penalty that, flag. Yeah, he was passed. Rump was passed. I mean, he just kind of, you know, was nothing against Austin. He was doing his job. Yeah. He was battling, 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 and just wanted to make a hold his block a little bit longer to spring Psy. So now first and 30 for the Titans. So they'll send Rump in motion. Mormon in the shotgun. Looks to his left and now decides to tuck in and run. Mormon in the open field past the 50. Ball nearly stripped out there by Mextro as he met the quarterback and dropped him at the 46-yard line. But he's Wapak defender, Scott. They, you can tell they've been taught if you're going down or yeah. you, you got somebody else coming in, start ripping them down football. Yeah, right. And, and, and they've done a great job at that because every single one of them are grabbing at that football. Like right here, somebody holds them up and they're grabbing when you get a hand on them. And again, that takes strength. That's dedication, not you know, not now in the fall. That's all summer and all spring yeah. in that weight room. You got to be strong to be able to hold that guy with one arm and then trying to rake at it with the other one. So give the Walpaw coaching staff one to teach that and two to get them in the weight room to be strong enough to do that. Was well, a 10 yard gain for the Titans yeah. makes it second and 20 now as we go under four minutes to play in this first half as Mormon will keep it himself. He oh, gets great. just tripped up a nice play by Mikey Lee in the backfield. Otherwise Mormon yeah. might still be running. Yeah, he, he had the, he had a nice play, but Lee goes and got got some shoestring tackle there. You can see he kind of snuck through. He kind of he did a little uh, stunt there and he was came in unblocked because the Titans kind of let him go because they were going the other way, and he did a great job of running that one down. More than five minutes taken off the clock here in this 
drive four out of a Glandorf, and, and really uh, that might be as much of a, a focal point here on this drive yeah. as, as scoring points are because you, you don't want to give Wapak the football back here in this first half. Yeah, absolutely, and you want to give them the least amount. I, I'm surprised that Wapak hasn't burned any timeouts yet. I Third down here for the Titans. Mormon will chuck it up the seam. The ball poked away and hung in the ear for just a moment as Rump was the intended receiver. I think it was Ryan Ross, actually. 18. Oh, yep. But that was that was the right read to just uh, step behind him and uh, came in complete. If he'd have caught that, he might have got down to the 30, and the Titans may have went for it. But now fourth and Stand 17, fourth you probably 17. got a punt and hope to pin them inside their 15-yard line. So we've seen the snaps not be great as they send them back to Connor Kitchen. An important one here to make sure Kitchen can snag it and get a nice boot off. A little bit of pressure each time from Wapak so far. I think the last punt that he got off was fairly decent, and that one was right where he wanted it too. There Kitchen we go. Gets a nice punt end over end. It'll bounce at the 10-yard line. Take a great out of a Glendorf bounce, and it will stop right at the 6-yard line. It's with 2.53 to go, Wapak will get the football back as an eight-play drive for Ottawa Glandorf takes just under six minutes off the clock here in this first half. Not only that, but it, uh, they got the fumble and they flipped the field as well. So Wapak's got to go 90, 90 what, 93 yards? To 93 for, yards. Yeah, so not bad. If Titans won three and out, there would have been plenty of time and, and been a short field. But good job by the Titan offense to get them out of the shadows of their goal and make this very difficult to for the Redskins. Is this a tempting position here for Wapak? Even though they're at their own seven yard line, there's three minutes to go in the half. You got all three timeouts. Things have gone pretty well for you offensively when you've taken care of the football. D do we expect to see maybe foot to the gas pedal here or, or just try to get out of the half? I think I think they're gonna be conservative just because, you know, again, I, that's just me guessing here. Just because, you know, you're, you're down in the shadows of your goal. Um, you don't want to go three and out and make three incomplete passes and give the Titans two plus yeah, minutes that's true. on a short field. I, you know, uh, Titans do have two, nice, two timeouts as well. Timeout called on the field. We'll step aside with them as the Binkley Real Estate timeout. 14 7. Wapak leads out of a plan to late in the first half here on WYSN. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by Binkley Real Estate. Binkley Real Estate has an effective sales approach, effective marketing campaigns, and extensive network that will get results that move you. Out of Glandorf, after the punt, has Wapak tucked deep in their own territory, the shadow of their own goalpost at the seven yard line at first and 10, with 2.52 remaining here in the first half as the Redskins will line up under center as Moyer will have Naus and Mextro behind him. He'll turn it in off to Naus. Has a little bit of room out to the 10-yard line brought down by look like Will Schmitz it on the stop for out of Landor. Yep, I agree with you. But just uh, I mean, that, that's about as easy as you can you can get out of uh, the, the old wing tee there in, mm -hmm. in your own yeah. seven-yard line. And I think the Titans were okay with this if they go three yards in a cloud of dust. I think the Titans are okay with them fourth and one and possibly punting with less than a minute to go. Grant Hauser and Joey Truesdale in motion. They'll hand off to Nouse once again, run the same play to the right side. Yeah. He stood up just yeah. shy of the 15-yard line. That'll bring third. Five, looks like. Third, yeah, third and five. Here for the Redskins. You know, like I said, I think the Titans are okay with this. I think they're okay with going in down 14 7 at half. And uh, they had a much better second quarter than they did the yeah. first quarter. And especially, you know, the first five minutes, we were thinking, oh my goodness, this could be a blowout. <laughs> but give Titans credit and the coaching staff to, you know, circle the wagons and do some things and come up with some two costly turnovers and, and uh, change this game right now. Third and four here for the. Redskins as Travis Moyer streaks down the near sideline trying to call a timeout and I think did get it. That's the first timeout taken here by the Wapak Redskins. 134 to go here in this first half. And Scott, you mentioned um, the, the the kind of turnaround here in the first half by the Titans. Down 14 nothing early. And uh, Travis Moyer, the Wapak head coach, said, hey, we got to protect the football. And it, they got caught on the interception that turned into an OG touchdown. Their points off turnovers. But uh, even that long drive here that didn't result in points was a big thing for, for the Titans just to make sure Wapak didn't have another crack at the football with yeah. good field position and a lot of time to work with. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the Titans got to be able to flip the field and, and you know, 
they've been a lot better offensively the second quarter than they were early. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you can mark Labor Day on your calendar if you haven't already. The second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom All Family Dealerships. Race begins at the Sunnydale House where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. Have more to celebrate as the launch of academies in Allen East and Spencerville take place in September. To sign up, Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. LifeWise of Allen County 5K is presented by Tom All Family Dealerships. It's on Labor Day 2022 at 9 a.m. in Elida. Just over 90 seconds to play in the second quarter, as you see on our Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. 14-7 to score as Wapak leads Ottawa Glandorf. And third and four, a couple different ways the Redskins can take this, right? You can just try to run it up the gut, get the first down. If you don't, you punt it away. Or do, do you maybe go to the air and... and Try to see if you can't get a big chunk play here. Yeah, well, I, I think something's coming because why would you sprint down there, call a timeout? I think one of the coaches maybe up here in the box seen something, and they might see what they're going to go with here. Moyer will run off tackle. Got the first down out to the 20-yard line. Stood up, and the whistles finally blow as Cy Rump will sling Moyer to the ground. Lee's famous recipe first down there for the Redskins or maybe they seen something that they didn't like, they were going to maybe go for it and just thought, well, we'll just go kind of conserve with the quarterback run, get hat on hat, and see if we can get this first down here. Yeah, and, don't, and you, you probably also don't want to be punting inside your own 10-yard yeah, line or, or anything like that. But first and 10 here from the 21-yard line as we approach one minute to go here in this first half. Moyer under center this time. I thought he dropped I something. thought he did yeah, as well. well start. I, I don't think – I think the line was – Moving, and I don't think the center snapped it because the quarterback kind of looked like he pulled out a little I, early there, didn't it? I, it, it there was definitely something, something wonky there <laughs> yeah. on that play. I, I was with you. I thought, did he just drop the football? Because yeah. that's about worst-case scenario that, right that, here yeah. at the 20-yard line with a minute to go and a half. Right. Um, even dropping the snap is, yeah. is not where you want to be. But, yeah, I Absolutely. think everybody was on one and the center was on two. Yeah, and I was going to say, yeah, that almost would have been – Deadly with yeah, just that, over a minute to go and fumbling on your 20-yard line. That is crisis averted, but <laughs> the five-yard penalty, I think that's one of the rare times you'll take the five-yard penalty. Absolutely. Straight wing tee in the backfield. They'll hand off to Nels, runs off tackle right. Didn't get back. Yeah, both OG linebackers are right there waiting on them, Alex Schrader and Cy Rump. So that will keep the clock ticking under a minute to play here in the first half. 14-7, Wapak leads out of Glandorf. As Nels has gotten a couple of carries here on this drive where certainly looks as if the Redskins are content to run a little clock as the game clock and play clock not synced up anymore. And uh, Wapak won't have to snap it here again in the first half if they don't want to. They'll get in the huddle. And uh, I'll probably take a knee here. Looks like they got victory formation here. And yep. really, they, they don't have to no. take a knee. Uh, well, I think the play clock kind of started late. And it looks like we see the Ottawa Landorf coaches on the left side of your screen just saying, yeah. hey, let's, uh, we'll, we'll take being down 14-7 here in the first half after the first couple of minutes went. But that'll do it for the first half of play. Wapak leads Ottawa Landorf 14-7, two one-yard touchdown runs by Connor Mextro by the Redskins in the first half and then a 15-yard touchdown pass from Landon Mormon to Carter Dooling. Gives us our 14 to 7 score. We'll come back and we'll have some halftime adjustments for you. Brought to you by Owls Woody's Diner. It's 14 7 Wapak over out of Glendorf here on WOSN. Tonight's halftime adjustment is brought to you by Owls Woody's Diner in Wapak. It's Wapak's best place for pizza, wings, subs, and burgers. Give them a call at 419 738 9111. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Scott Bang here. We're bringing you all the action here from Wapak as the Redskins have a 14-7 lead over the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Two one-yard touchdown runs by Connor Mextro. The touchdowns on the board for the Wapak Redskins, and for the first time this season, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans got on the board a 15-yard touchdown pass from Landon Mormon to, uh, to uh, Carter Dooling. Uh, from 15 yards out, made it 14 to 7. And when you take a look at the second half adjustments needed to be made here tonight, uh, first for Wapak, Scott, what did, what did Travis Moyer say to his squad here at the halftime break? And, and what are they trying to fix here as we enter the second half? I think two things. One is 
take care of the football, which we yeah. talked about at the beginning, which was, was one of his keys. And second of all, defensively, I think defensively they, the Titans hurt him on the seam route. So they're going to take that away. You know, Titans really didn't run it that much at them, but I think they got to take away the seam route and they got to protect the football because they were kind of having their way that first quarter and then uh, kind of that one away um, uh, for them. But that's kind of uh, that's what I would think the Wapak on, on the other side, the Titans, I like them to say that they got to keep on improving, right, because they got to keep on keeping on doing what they've been doing because uh, first quarter didn't start off so well, but they kept improving. They hit a couple things in that end of that first, and then that parlayed it into that, a better second quarter. And Coach Reiner said one of his keys were improve, and I think they've done a great job of improving as this game's gone on. Yeah, I was going to say, you've seen the improvement in, in the game. You know, yes. you've, you've seen them. Um, you know, Wapak scores the first two drives in nine plays. <laughs> they, and, and really, the, yeah. the first drive, they got the ball to the 25-yard line. It's going to yeah. be tough to keep them out. But, Absolutely. But the, you've seen the improvement from OG, even from the first quarter to the second quarter. Yes, yes, you have. And and, and you can see it in the guys, uh, the guys' eyes that they just keep getting better and better and better, you know, more confidence. Things go right. You just build on that. So Tyler Holmbrink has the football teed up for Ottawa Glendorf as they'll kick off. Two wall block here to begin the second half. Redskins with a 14-7 lead. And we are now, you know, got the lights all turned on. No more sun on part of the field and shade in part of the field. The lights are on and you get the, the, the good feel of Friday night action yes. here as the Western Buckeye League season kicks off in week two between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Wapak Redskins. As the kickoff deep into the middle of the field. Caught by Naus at the six-yard line. He'll reverse field and bring it to the near sideline. Going to be chased by a couple of Titans and brought down just past the 20-yard line, but even a, a nice play by Naus to get out to the 20-yard line after having to kind of reverse field and, and bring it out as far as he did. Yeah, and I think kind, Titans kind of learned a little bit on that kickoff like the, the first quarter when he kind of bounced and kind of spun on guys and he got another 15 yards. There was three or four Titans to make sure that they were going <laughs> to they're going to keep hitting him until they blew the whistle. So the Redskins, who scored on their first two drives of the night and were held out of the end zone from there on out, going to start at their own 22-yard line here on their first drive at the second half is Caleb Moyer, the 6'1 freshman quarterback, will be in a shotgun with three receivers and a running back to the top of your screen. He'll land out to Mextro. He's got a, a little lane to run to. Got to the 25-yard line before he's brought down by Alex Schrader from his linebacker spot. Yeah, and Cy Rump there to clean it up. Alec did a good job of shedding, shedding a blocker there. As you can see here, the good job by the uh, pulling guard to get there and it kind of rump snipes. I guess it was rump that kind of got under the block and helped make that tackle. And you saw a nice job there by the Wapak offensive lineman, the tight end. Um, they, they created that alley. They, they yep. walled off the defenders from getting in there and then uh, Alex Schrader from his linebacker spot came up and made the, made the tackle. Yep, the tight end kicks out. Here comes a pulling guard. It's The trap is the big part of the uh, wing T offense there. Moyer in the shotgun by his lonesome. He'll run off tackle to the right, brings it back to the middle of the field, brought down by Grant Schrader, just shy of the 30-yard line. And that'll bring up third and short here for the Redskins. Good job by Moyer. He did, you know, at, for a freshman, he did a good job here. Watch how he just kind of lets his offensive line get their blocks and he cuts off it to get another five, six yards. That's great vision for a freshman quarterback. Absolutely. Moyer had 11 carries for 15 yards in the season opening loss to Marion Local and uh, got about six yards there on second down. Yeah. So third and three upcoming here for the Redskins as they look for the Lee's famous recipe first down. Now Smextro behind Moyer. They'll run the old reverse and gets it to Truesdale Ooh. here along the near side. He is upended, shy of the 30-yard line. Tried to go a little trickeration there yep. on third down and uh, gain him maybe half a yard. It was a great job by Grant Schrader to set the engine. All of a sudden, his twin brother, Alec, comes up and cleans up to knock that one down. Good job by Grant right here to keep the edge. Take on the block. Don't let him get outside you. Spin him back in, and there's a uh, twin brother there to knock him down. Yeah, that's a nice play there yes. by the Schraders to yes, it turn was. that back inside because there, there's a, a little alley there that uh, and a great shot from our WOSN crew, but uh, you saw the great work there by the Schraders to turn that back in and keep it a uh, gain of actually a loss of about a yard or two. Ooh, so the punt out and away for Wapak is fair caught. 
Carter Dooling about got that one. <laughs> Jordan Metzger, yeah. a fair catch, but you're right. There was a little pressure there on the yeah. on the old punt that, that uh, I don't know Wapak was was expecting. Yeah, and good job by the punter to get rid of that and get it down the field another 20, 40 yards there. That was so that was impressive as well to one to stand in there when the pressure's coming and get it away and, and make a fairly decent punt. Yeah, the ball's at the 36-yard line here for Ottawa Glandorf as they start, but you're right. Uh, when you're faced with that pressure, it's it's easy to not get a good boot into that one. Yeah. Or get a little skittish and get it off the side of your foot. So that was a great job by the Wapak punter. So the Titans will go to work their first drive here in the second half. Landon Mormon will be in a shotgun. He's got Alec Schrader to his left and a penalty flag before the snap can happen as a false start, start called against uh, pointing at the left or right tackle here for Ottawa Glandorf. That's Will Schmitz who's got the penalty flag. Yeah, I wonder if he him. picked up his hand or something, or he maybe. Yeah, it's something you don't even really think yeah, about. Right, or something that we can't see from up here. And it was even, you know, still a couple of seconds before Mormon yeah. was even going to be set to snap yes. the ball that you're not thinking, you're like, I've got to stay still right now. Yes. So first and 15 now for the Titans. Yes, they'll send three receivers to the top of your screen. Mormon in the shotgun. Schrader beside him. Mormon, the low snap, runs left, keeps it himself, and he is stood straight up by Joey Truesdale, who pushes him back to the 30-yard line, forward progress. We'll give him to about the 34, so uh, still about two yards shy of the original line of scrimmage, a gain of three on first Good down. Good job here by Mikey Lee, the end, kind of coming on and uh, kind of taking on that block and holding them up a little bit. Shove Mormon backwards yep. there on first down. We saw a, a nice mix there in the first half, Scott, of um, th th they weren't afraid to let Mormon put it in the air, especially yeah. that he found Rump a couple of different times where just an easy pitch and catch. Yeah, right down the seam, and they got Grant Schrader down the seam. See if the Titans go back to that on second down here. Mormon in the pistol. Hands off to Rump. He'll run off left tackle. Run hard. Out near the 40-yard line, slung down by Mikey Lee of Wapak, but yeah. out past the original line of scrimmage, a gain of about six there on second down. will make it third and a little bit more manageable here for the Titans. That play started. That looked like the Titans did a great job blocking it, but great job by Mikey Lee to run this one down from the backside and, and, and the linebackers to come there and fill that hole. That looked like it was going to go for something, and, and the, the Redskins... Close that down for about a five-yard gain. That could have been 15, 20 yards. Nose of the football right at the 40-yard line for Ottawa Glendorf. Third and six as they got to get out to the 46-yard line. Mormon, the senior signal caller in the shotgun. They'll send three receivers to the bottom of your screen. As Mormon will look and turn and fire. Nearly intercepted. Instead, it's caught out past the midfield stripe. Cy Rump, another pass just right up the seam that yep. they have exploited time and time again. They sure have, but... The Redskins have gotten smarter, and they know they made the adjustment at halftime because they had a linebacker sitting there. It's a good job by Mormon just to get it up. <laughs> it was kind of wobbly. The linebacker was just too far to the right of that one. He couldn't get back, but he kind of threw it behind him. But they were that was a lot better than it was the first half. So at least they're getting him back there this time. Lee's famous recipe first down for the Titans is they're in Wapak territory at the 44-yard line. Mormon in the shotgun once again. And now uh, Schrader took just a step. He was going to try to turn that into, oh, I'm going in motion, uh, but uh, wasn't able to, to fool the officials, and that will push the Titans yep. back five once again. You know, the Titans overcame a false start penalty uh, before. Let's see if they can come through with it and take take advantage of it. You know, you keep going back five yards each time, eventually it's going to come back and, and bite you. Yeah, and you, nobody wants to get in the thought process of, well, you know, we, we did first and 15 once this drive. <laughs> right. oh, it, it, yeah. Nobody wants to be in that right. situation. They want to be first and five. <laughs> Ball at the 49-yard line of Wapak now with the Titans. Get into Redskin territory. Mormon in the shotgun. Wapak will fake the blitz there. You saw Mextro fake the blitz, and Mormon will keep it himself after the fake to rump. Gets to the 45-yard line, a gain of four. Got close to the original line of scrimmage, but again, it's going to be second and 11 for the Titans. A good pursuit by the Redskins to get there and shut that one down. They had a, He had a host of blockers out front and Rump looking to block somebody, but great job by uh, the Redskins defense there to come shut that down. The corner came off the edge there and catch his number. I think it might be. Yeah, Corbin Mitchell from his outside linebacker spot. I think the first time we've called him his name tonight, the 5'10", 165-pound senior coming up to help make that tackle as well. And also out here number 24, but he's not even on the, uh, the roster, so I don't know if that's a 
jersey change at halftime or what, but he came in off his cornerback position and made a play. Mormon gives to Rump. He slips past a couple of tacklers, but then he stood up yeah. as Mextro in on the stop, as was Mitchell. And uh, Jarrett Mullen is number 24 tonight. Missing? No, uh, the, he's on the re uh, there's a, freshman. Yeah, there's a couple yeah. of guys here for Wapak that uh, they had some jersey issues. That Jace Nouse, for instance, is 21 in the home jersey, but is 17 in the road jersey, and things like that. But uh, yeah, Jarrett Mullen is a 5'5 freshman. And getting a little varsity action here on a Friday night. So third and long here for the Titans as Alex Schrader moves just before the snap once again, and that's going to push the Titans back five. Again, that's inexperienced. The Titans rearing its ugly head here. That's three false start penalties. Titans getting a little anxious. You know, settle down here. So third and eight now turns into third and 13. And I, I would have to imagine that changes the plane call from Ken Schreiner. So halfway through this third quarter, 14-7. Audible Gleendorf trailing Wapak. Now third and 13 inside Redskin territory. Mormon in the shotgun with Cy Rump to his left and three receivers to the top of your screen. Mormon, back, screen pass to Rump oh, in the middle of the job. field, but a nice job by the Wapak yeah. defense. Uh, Truesdale. Joey Truesdale wow. didn't leave his spot. He sat right there and read it the whole way. And, well, uh, he also had a blocker on him. He shed the blocker and he came and made a play because there was a train of Titans out oh, front. and just slipped right through yep. three Titans. Three Titans and whiffed on him and he just kind of got through like a snake, he slithered through there and made the tackle. And Tyler Hauser came in to help clear up from behind, yeah. and that will force a punt. Yeah, I think the Titans might have had something if they could have blocked him with some green grass or green carpet in front of him. Counter Kitchen on to punt for Adam Glandorf. His right foot hits the ball, bounces it inside the five-yard line. It'll go into the end zone, and that will be a touchback. So. Wapak will start their second drive of the second half here at their own 20-yard line. I think Connor Kitchens has got that punting figured out now. Yeah, once you get the get the snaps down to you, yes. and you're not worried about, oh, boy, am I going to have to turn and run here after this snap. No, he's got a, a couple of really nice punts here, which I'm sure Ken Schreiner would love to not work on the old punt game here and rather punch the ball in the end zone. But all things considered, when you're, one of your keys to the game was we want to improve. Yeah. You're, you're improving in every facet. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned the, the carpet here at Harmon Stadium. Well, Ottawa Glandorf got to enjoy their carpet last week, I, I, I understand. Sure did. It's beautiful. Mo or excuse me, Moyer in the shotgun. High snap. Tucks it down. Runs here to the near sideline. Reverses field. Spins out of a tackle. Got to the 25-yard line. A nice play there by the freshman to even pick up five yeah. yards there on first Absolutely. down. Absolutely. Great individual effort because the Titans snuffed that out. They did a great job defensively. He just made a better play on the offensive end. But the Titans had a host of guys there. He just outworked it and kind of, you know, the Titans were, you know, right there, the, kind of a miss, and he kind of shid that, and he kind of shimmied away from this one and got an extra, after the first contact, there's five extra yards there. And you get a great look at it on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies replay of just how uh, how shifty the yes. freshman quarterback had to be there on first down. Again, he's just a freshman. Moyer in the shotgun once again, puts it in the stomach of Naus, and Naus is in the open field at the 30-yard line, has the least famous recipe first down, brought down at the 32-yard line. That'll move the chains, a nice play in the open field by the junior running back. Yeah, he did a good job of uh, running through the tackle. Caleb Yoder was there, he just kind of ran right through him and uh, got, gained himself after the first contact. Uh, you know, the Redskins have done a good job this drive. That's another six, seven yards after contact. Titans has got to do a better job of wrapping up when they make contact with them. And that's one of those early things that you, you notice of of the things that teams need to work on. Those open yeah. field tackles are, yep. are tough because you're, you're trying to avoid injuries there and, you know, two-a-days and things like that mm -hmm. where you're just, you're, you're just not used to trying to tackle somebody else. Right, and you don't really beat on each other because, like you said, you're waiting for injuries. Mextro, the carry on the trap up the middle, out past the 35-yard line. Maybe or they'll, they'll spot him right at the 35-yard line, so a gain of four on first down there for the Redskins. And we've seen here in the early going, I guess, now as we work into the second half, uh, just how kind of diverse Wapak can be offensively. If they want to go out of the shotgun and, and 
chuck the pigskin a little bit. They can if they want to line up in, in the wing tee and turn around and hand it off to two pretty good running backs. They can do that as well. Yeah. And, you know, that shows the coaching staff has a lot of faith in the freshman uh, quarterback, signal caller back there. Now Swift to carry. Good job by the Titans to close that. That, that looked like that was going to go for, for a big game, but good job by Carter Dooling and, and Landon Mormon coming here and knock that one down. Yeah, kind of cut him down just yes. shy of the first down marker, but we take a look at the replay here. There's a lot of green grass in front of Jace now. It's yeah, right sure here. Was. you got a, a block on Carrillo. He slips through it. Yeah. And... Makes a nice open field tackle. He and Dooling yeah, sure combined there to stop now. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see that Carrillo. I thought that was Ryan Ross. Good job by Carrillo. There's, a, there's an awful lot of ones and eights and sixes and zeros that all, that all look alike. Yeah. So third and three upcoming here for the Redskins. As they approach the midfield stripe. Moyer in the shotgun. There's that. Got it again. Yeah. A couple of different times now. <laughs> Wapak is... You know, the center has been on two and everybody else has been on one. Uh, just yeah. a miscommunication in the huddle somewhere. Yeah, and, and, and both teams really, right? Both teams yeah. kind of struggled on this a little bit. You know, I, I think it's, again, this is a pretty big game of two teams that are probably in the upper half of the WBL yeah. and they want to win and, you know, both of them come off losses and, and want to get better. They're just, you know, uh, still early in the season. And, and both squads know nobody wants to start 0-2. Yes. I mean, last year, Adam Landorf yeah. was 1-3 and after four weeks. And, you know, they get to the state semifinals. But I, I'm certain they don't want to be in that situation again. Absolutely. Moyer sends now in motion at the top of your screen. He'll take the Ooh. snap, and it goes over his head. Balls back. It's the 15-yard line, and the freshman wisely just pounces yeah. on it. And instead of avoiding... Instead of a disaster, just pounces on the football yes. and live to fight another day. You know, that again, that's you can't say enough how heady that was. You're exactly right how smart that was of him not trying to pick that up. Because, one again, what if he runs by it, doesn't pick it up? There's a couple Titans. There's a Green right, Schrader Schrader Schrader's breathing down his neck. Yes. If he misses that, Green Schrader picks it up, and now we're looking at possibly a tie score. But instead, he got smart. He got on the ball. He dropped it. Great job. Heady heads up by the freshman. Again, I can't say enough of his poise and how he understands the game. So the Redskins will go back to punt. A high end-over-end kick at the 43-yard line as a yes. nice open field tackle made by the freshman, freshman. Mullen. Yeah. Jarrett Mullen makes the open field tackle. <laughs> now you Just see, a young pup. <laughs> and you see why he's out there. Wow, a sure tackler to come in there and get down there on punt recoveries. So they thought, well, let's, let's see what this kid can do in the defensive back situation too. And he made a nice open field tackle there Absolutely. on the punt return. Absolutely. Wow. A couple of freshmen making some big plays yeah. here for yeah. the Redskins. Right. But Future, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, Otto Glandorf takes over here with 119 to go in this first half. But uh, a lot of youth uh, on the field right now. Just ready to say, it, it kind of you touched on it. Future looks a little bit bright for the Redskins, doesn't it? That it does. Yeah. So we just think, 12 months ago, these guys were playing junior high games. <laughs> Amazing. Landon Mormon will line up in the shotgun. He's got two receivers to his left. And Alec Schrader, the running back to his right. Hands off. He'll go right up the middle. 45, 46 yard line. That's where they'll finally blow the play dead. But game about six yards there on first down. Good job by the Titan. Big, big uglies up front there. They got the they got the push and then then Alec just followed the his blockers and just kind of run hard, kept the legs churning, and got himself three or four yards after the first contact. So Otto Glandorf approaching midfield as we're under a minute to go here in this third quarter. 14-7 to seven the score. Nobody scored. Nobody put one on the board in the second quarter, and so far nobody put one on the board here in the third. Otto Glandorf working to change that. Second and four upcoming for the Titans as Mormon will be in the shotgun once again. He'll hand off to Schrader. Schrader off right tackle, crosses the midfield stripe. And that's rump. Actually. Powered back. Yeah. 12. That's yeah, it rump. is rump. Yep. 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 But a big play, big stick there by Corbin Mitchell and Joey Truesdale. It only stops yes. for Wapak to send rump backwards. But again, if you look at the Titans, they're kind of they're getting off and, and they're getting them back on their heels a little bit and they're running behind it. And that, that wasn't happening much in the first half. Give, give the Titan, uh, the, uh, the big guys, some credit. They've made adjustments, and we said at the beginning. Oh. Prove and improve and prove, right? And both sides said yes. whoever wins the, the line of scrimmage is, is probably going to win the football game. And in the first half, Wapak, I think, established themselves as being able to push out of Glendorf around. And then you see the Titans come out here in the third quarter and and push Wapak off the ball a little yep. bit. But we've played three quarters. Wapak leads out of Glendorf 14-7. Fourth quarter action coming up in this WBL Lidlifter on WOSN. 
Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies with locations in Coldwater and Greenville. We've got some fantastic shots on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding Supplies replays with our fantastic crew here at WOSN as uh, we go here in the fourth quarter. It's the fourth quarter about to begin 14-7 uh, to 7 the score as Wapak leads Ottawa Glandorf, but all the scoring coming in the first quarter and Otto Glandorf uh, picked up the first down there, Lee's famous recipe first down. It's first and 10 as they enter Redskin territory at the 47-yard line. So you can just see the, the confidence in the Titans from the start of the game is just yeah. getting better and better, and, and it's turning into a heck of a bas uh, basketball football <laughs> game here. <laughs> basketball on the mind. Mormon. Oh, good Hands shot. off, and wow. it's just gobbled up oh. Mikey Lee in the backfield for Hauser. Wapak, both of them like Ware, Hauser, that entire defensive line. We, we <laughs> talked about how Otto Gladorf had won the line of scrimmage here in the third quarter. Not that time. Yeah, not off to a great start in the fourth. <laughs> that just blew up that play. Actually, was it was 64. It was Ware. Yeah, wow. Caden Ware, 6'1", 190-pound junior. He had a tackle for loss last week in the loss to Marion Local. Got a second one there. He just ran by the offensive lineman. So that was impressive. That is a second and 13 now. Is, yeah. And we've seen Ottawa Glendorf here in the second half, you know, have first and 15, first and 15, second and 13, just not getting in, in real advantageous yeah. spots here. And due to basically penalties, but that time it was a great defensive effort by the uh, off, uh, defensive lineman. So Mormon lines up in a shotgun, three receivers and a running back to his left, looking to pass, slings it. Did he bounce that? Yeah, he did. He bounced that to Landon Metzger was the, er, excuse Jordan. me, Jordan Metzger. Yep. The intended target. He was open. But the Redskins did a good job of closing down that seam. That seam wasn't wide open. They kind of had three or four guys around. If you can see, Metzger kind of ran, seen the seam route. He was running it, and then he kind of sat down because there was three or four guys. He kept going. He probably got his bell rung, unless that was the way the play was. But the, they're doing, the Redskins give them credit. Coaching staff picked that up, and they're, taking away them seam routes. So Ottawa Glandor faced with third and 13 here in the fourth quarter, trailing by seven. Mormon in the shotgun, same formation as the last play. Will keep it himself, sprints right up the middle of the field, gets to the 45 before he is met, and a mass of bodies will bring it down at the 45. Caden Waring on the stop for Wapak. Makes it fourth and eight. Looks like the Titans will send the punt unit on. Yeah. Get, uh, Titans did a good job of spreading them out and then ran Landon Mormon behind him. But like you said, uh, Mextro got there and just said, you ain't going any farther and let him good open field tackle that we kind of talked about. It's very difficult this early in the season. Those open field tackles are hard to make. So Kitchen will go back to punt for Adam Glandorf. Standing in his own 40-yard line. Chest high snap. Gets a nice boot on yes. that one. It'll be caught on the run at the 15-yard line, but fair caught by Grant Jolly. And Wapak will start their third drive of the second half about their own 14-yard line. Good job to come up and catch that one because that could have bounced and got inside the five yeah. or maybe even closer to the goal line, but good job of him sprinting up and catching that at the 15. So Wapak will go to work. After the punt from Ottawa Glandor, four straight punts as these teams have traded punts here in this second half, but ten and a half to go in this Western Buckeye Lake matchup. Moyer will go under shotgun or go under center, I should say. It's Truesdale in motion. A handoff to Mextro. Gets it out to just shy of the 20 yard line. And drops the ball down there. So a gate of four on first down for Wapak. Take a look at this Layfeld yep. Industrial and Welding Supplies replay. Just a little dive ahead. And yeah, good job by shoestring tackle because I think that didn't made. He's getting another five, six, seven yards on that. So Wapak comes back out this time. This one in the shotgun as Moyer. Joined by now, so said Mextro in motion to the bottom of your screen and off to Nows. Oh. Runs left. Did a good job of running through the tackle by Alex Schrader to get 
close to a first down here. Yeah, Alex Schrader had the opportunity yeah. there for the tackle in the backfield. But, right, he just uh, ran right through it. <laughs> it's just uh, guys are probably a little slippery at this point in the fourth <laughs> quarter with nine a and a half to yeah, go. I bet a little bit warm down there. On the structure outdoor. Kind of nice up here, though. It, 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 I would tell you. <laughs> Wapak did a fantastic job with the yeah. air conditioners and the and the food and the Wi-Fi and the televisions and the, of the places you can announce a high school football game. We're doing all right up here. This would be a nice little man cave up here, I yeah, think. Yeah, well, third and short <laughs> for the Redskins. They'll just oh goose it and go straight up the middle of the field. Start. Get a false oh. start on the Redskins. Instead of a Lee's famous recipe first down, it's yeah. third and six. Yeah. It just drives coaches nuts. You have a half a yard for a first down, and, again, guys getting antsy, want to make a play, and got to be disciplined. Uh, especially these two tough teams, they're not giving an inch. you got to be disciplined, and penalties are starting to mount because I think the guys are starting to feel a little bit of the pressure yeah. of this game, and, and we've seen more penalties in third so far yeah. in this fourth quarter than we did all the first half. No, you're absolutely right. We saw you know, false start penalties galore there in the third quarter and um, we in the first half we saw you know a holding penalty here or there where right. you know, it's an effort play we're sure. here in the second half it's more a, a mental mistake yeah absolutely Not something, sure. was, something warning to both teams i don't know if sideline warning or <laughs> i don't know what it I is i was gonna say i didn't catch what the yeah, I don't know either stoppage in play was, but yeah. got a little conference here from the officials who, and we mentioned earlier, you know, we appreciate them giving up their Friday nights to come out and make sure we've got high school football as you know some games get rescheduled around the area to Thursdays or Saturdays due to due to a lack of officials. Yeah, right, it's kind of crazy how you play in a football game on a Thursday night. You know, it's just the world we live in now. That again, I it's and give I, these guys credit. I don't know if I'd want to get. The fans getting on you or coaches. And I, I saw, you know, one game had been moved to, to Finley because the officials said, I don't want to drive to wherever. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm willing to do the game if you play it in Finley. Like, okay, all right. So yeah. we're making all sorts of accommodations. As right. The Wapak crowd comes to life a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what, what they're trying to reset the clock or what they're trying to do here. I don't know what they it's want. 8.57 yeah. showing on the clock. 9.03 now put on the clock. <laughs> six seconds back so, on. Yeah, six seconds. <laughs> Depending on. Well, this this official here in the sideline was running his hand like he wanted to get it started. And <laughs> the official, the, yeah. the head of the white hat is saying, no, 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 no. Yeah. So we're now past 8.56. Yes. <laughs> we're doing things by the book here Absolutely. tonight at Wampa. We sure are. Third and eight for the Redskins. Moyer rolls here to the near sideline, looking, fires, throws oh. over the head. It's intercepted by Carrillo. Yes. Carrillo along the near sideline makes a man miss at the 30, brought down at the 25-yard line. A big interception by the 5'7 senior. Yeah. And Carrillo, Manny Carrillo in the right place at the right time. That's a big play for the Titans. Hopefully we can re-see this because watch Carrillo. I don't know if he'd really seen it because he was guarding his guy. And then he kind of looked at the last minute and kind of just like, oh, ball. Oh, Stop by the it. way, uh, <laughs> uh, the ball caught him, but he right. catches it hip high. Right. And then uh, right. you can see <laughs> you like, can okay, see the thought go. process there. Like, yeah. I have the football. Right, let's uh, go. I didn't expect to have the football, but Manny Carrillo returns it yes. back to the 27-yard line. And the Titans are in business down seven. Yeah. And that's just a freshman making a play, right? And, you know, two years from now, he throws that out of bounds and they punt it. But that's just a freshman trying to make a play there. He did have receiver, just overthrew him. You know, we complimented him so much now that just a freshman trying to make it a play. He'll get better as a senior year. He'll throw that one out of bounds. Landon Mormon fakes the Ooh. run. We'll throw it across the middle to Cy nice Rump. Hit. He got collided Hot. with yes. by Grant Jolly. He said, no, I want, I want them to reconsider <laughs> throwing this seam route. Right. I'm don't be coming in here anymore. If you do, this is what's going to happen to you. And almost a pitch and wow. catch there. That's the second time that out of a Glendorf ran that. It's yeah. not exactly, you know, the Tim Tebow pop pass by any stretch of the imagination, no. but just that one step forward, and then yeah. I'm going to sling it. Right. And uh, Grant Jolly made Cy Rump pay for it. Yes, he did. So second and ten here for the Titans. Eight and a half minutes to go. In this fourth quarter, 14-7 to score. So Mormon will be in the shotgun with Schrader to his right and three wide receivers as well. Mormon will keep it himself oh, to the 25, but great tackle by Truesdale. Yes. Slung it, and he got the ball loose from Mormon. They'll say Mormon was down. Oh, yeah. Good job by Mormon. It set up the blocks, and he cut back off him, but uh, Truesdale did a heck of a job coming back and getting him. 
It's right here. He does a good cutback, and then he's Kalman ran him down and threw him down. So third and seven. I, this might be two down territory for the I, Titans. I was just going to ask you. Eight Jared, minutes to go we, here. We down playing, seven. We going forward on fourth if you don't get it here. Yeah, I think so because what's a punt going to get you? Ten yards, if that maybe. Yeah, you got. Yeah, and, I think think you got to go. And for the it. defense have been playing pretty well. I think I think this is two down territory for the Titans. Ball on the twenty four yard line with Mormon in the shotgun. Schrader to his left. He'll take the snap, looking right. Slings, thrown to Schrader. Grant oh. Schrader with the catch. Truesdale, the open yeah. field tackle. Or excuse me. Who was the I think, Grant Jolly maybe I think on the Jolly, tackle? Yeah, Jolly and maybe uh, Mikey, Mikey Lee. Lee maybe got out there from his defensive end position. Try to run that little tunnel yeah. screen to Grant right. Schrader, and then you see 51 out there makes yeah. the first initial hit. That's a nice play by Mikey Lee. Yeah, from his defensive end position. Yeah. I was going to say, a defensive yeah. end going out on a wide receiver yeah. is not a matchup you probably feel great about. Mikey yeah. Lee makes the open field tackle and brings up fourth down. Right, and that, that play was kind of slow and developing, and the pass was high, which allowed him to get there. But I think it was a great play call. Just was kind of a slow developing. Look for Cy Rump here on that seam route. Fourth and six for the Titans. Mormon back to pass. Sets up at his own 30. Plenty of time. Standing, firing, looking for yeah. Rump. Pass incomplete. Yeah. And a nice defensive stand by the Wapak Redskins after the interception. Titans in good field position, but they'll turn it over on downs yeah. after four downs. Great, great job by the Wapak defensive staff. They only rushed three and dropped eight. They played coverage, and, uh, you know, Landon Mormon had plenty of time. They're probably thinking, you know, let's make the inexperienced quarterback, you know, two games under his belt, make a play, and we'll drop eight guys and just play coverage, and it worked out for the Redskins. So a 6.55 to go here in the fourth quarter. Ottawa Glandorf turns it over on downs and gives the football back to the Redskins yeah. at their own 23-yard line. That might mic that one down. That might be the biggest play of the game right there, that defensive stop, because, you know, how they can run the football, they can take six minutes, 55 seconds off the clock real easy. And it looks like that's what they're going to try to do yep. here on first and 10 as Moyer turns and hands off to Naus. Naus running to the near side, slips past a tackle, is brought down by Yoder at the 27-yard line. Naus did a good job of evading Cy Rump. He almost Cy Rump had him for a loss, but he kind of let Cy Rump kind of fire through there. Watch Cy Rump's out here, and he kind of just slipped right past him. Ah. And Yoder see, comes and cleans it up. It's still got an extra couple yards after contact. You see on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies replay, you're right, Cy Rump uh, just, yeah. just in a tough position to have to swing those hips back around and try to bring down the ball carrier. But Kind of uh, got low to get out of the yeah. block and just yep. was not and then, ready to um, make a there's tackle. There's the ball carrier. Yep. Uh -huh. So Moyer will be in a shotgun. Now to his right. He'll take the handoff. Now slips Ooh. past the tackler in the open field. <laughs> what a great cutback. Big, back. big Ooh. save, uh, tackle yeah. save. Justice Pope. There by Justice Pope is uh, now slips that one. You could see, oh. I think you could see his legs moving, yep. his mind turning. Of, oh, if I can get past right here, you see the replay. Set when up. he gets right there, Boom. and then Justice Pope, a nice tackle there, a nice form tackle. He got the shoulders into the hip and brought him down. But if he doesn't make that tackle, I don't know that anybody does. I tell you, he did a heck of a job. That cutback was, you know, quick, and he just he turns directions quickly. Allows him being such a good, he's a great cutback runner. It's a least famous recipe, first down for the Redskins. 5.45 to go. He'll give to Naus once again. Busts off a tackle. Mextro, excuse me, to the 45, 46 yard line. As the Redskins looking to chew some clock here in this fourth quarter. I don't know if the Redskins will pass the football here. They're going to uh, ground and pound and make the Titans, if, if they don't score, at least maybe have Titans burn a few timeouts. Uh, and like you said, flip the field, and they're pretty close with, you know, Walpog punter. They flipped the field here pretty close. You saw Ryan Ross from Ottawa Glendorf make the tackle there on the Layfeld Industrial Welding Supplies replay. Second and one here for for Wapak at their own 46-yard line. Straight wing T as they'll just push ahead to get the least famous recipe first down. Yeah. Looks like they did get there. Yeah, I think so. It's the official here along the near side. Signals, yes, we got a first down. I don't know if I'd like that as a quarterback. If, you, if uh, you're a quarterback and you got three running backs pushing you in the back, I'm like, ow, guys. By the way, you got guys uh, in the middle of the OG defense who are 195, 210, 200. He's getting Linebackers put, come flying up. Yeah, and he's getting pushed by two 200-pound guys, and he's, what, 120? I was going to say, and uh, there's, only, there's one guy on the field who can turn and go like, Dad. <laughs> What, yeah. are, what are you doing to me here? Killing me. These guys are huge. Let, let these guys run the ball. Yeah. 
So under five minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Wapak nursing a 14-7 lead over the Titans. We were told whoever could control the line of scrimmage is probably going to win the football yep. game, and it's going to boil down to it here a couple of times in this fourth quarter. And I thought the Titans kind of did it the third quarter, and I think Wapak flipped the switch, and they've done it the fourth. Truesdale in motion in the wing tee. Ooh, that was a late snap, too. Oh. A handoff to Mextro. He tripped in the backfield. I think he, stopped, he tripped on Moyer's foot, I think. But that was a late snap. They almost got a false start on that one because that was slow coming out of there. So it's going to be just shy of the 50-yard line. Coach Reiner's, uh, Coach Reiner's going to take timeout, I believe. So a timeout called. Son of Glinder coaches motioning their kids over here. Hey. And we'll step aside, 4.31 to play in this fourth quarter. 14-7, Wapak leads out of Glandorf here on WOSN. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Allen Davis Insurance. Allen Davis Insurance is your solutions provider, specializing in auto, home, business insurance, and more. Also, coverage of tonight's game brought to you in part by Dale's Concrete. Dale's Concrete and decorative stamping in, Lips in Lipsick has all your commercial and residential concrete needs. 14 to seven to score, we've been without an Allen Davis Insurance touchdown since the first quarter. A pair of one yard touchdown runs by Connor Mextro made it 14 nothing. Wapak, Audible Glandorf answered in the first quarter as well, a 15 yard touchdown pass from, uh, from Landon Mormon, excuse me, uh, to uh, Carter Dueling. Made it 14 seven, and that was with 2.08 remaining in the first quarter. And now with 4.31 to go in the fourth, we're still tied, or still not tied, still at that 14-7 mark. Yeah. Who would have thought? The way the game started, <laughs> we thought it was going to be a shootout, didn't we? Wing T on second and 10. They'll hand off to Nels. Oh, he slipped in the backfield. Yeah, twice. And I, yeah, the, I, he might have had something there. Virtually in the same spot that Mextro mm -hmm. tripped in another quick timeout called by Ottawa Glandorf. It's a Binkley Real Estate timeout called by OG. They'll have one remaining. The LifeWise Academy 5K coming up on Labor Day, the second annual LifeWise 5K, presented by the Tom All Family Dealerships. Race begins at the Sunnydale House, where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. They've also got more to celebrate as the launch of Academies in Allen East and Spencerville take place in September. To sign up, Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. LifeWise of Allen County 5K. It's presented by the Tom All Family Dealerships. It's on Labor Day 2022 at 9 a.m. in Elida. 4.28 to go here in this fourth quarter. And a uh, couple advantageous defensive plays there for Otto Glandorf. Makes it third and long here, Scott. And, um, you know, that's <laughs> this is kind of best-case scenario for OG here mm -hmm. that – Wapak has gone backwards, and you've been able to use your timeouts to preserve as much time on the clock as possible. And you would think you're not going to throw the football, right? Because, again, worst-case scenario, or you get an incomplete pass, you stop the clock. With a run, yes, you might not make the first down, but the clock still runs, and if the Titans would have to call timeout to stop it. So, you know, it's like a catch-22. Again, I probably would run it, but... Again, that's why I'm up here, not <laughs> on the sidelines. <laughs> well, in the loss last week to Marion Local, the 21-7 loss, um, Wapak threw the ball 22 times uh, with the freshman quarterback. I, I don't know the last time yeah. Wapak probably threw the ball 22 times, and, and they haven't thrown it that much here tonight. But the two interceptions, you got to think Travis Moyer just says, I, I, I know that we need 13 yards, but yeah. – I want to make Ottawa Glendorf use their last time out and not, sure. not be in a bad situation once again as Moyer goes into shotgun. Hand off to Jason Nows off left tackle. He's in oh. the open field. Got very close to the first down marker. Did they get it? About a half yard short, I believe, maybe a yard. Yeah, the uh, official on the far sideline is saying he is half a yard short of the Lee's famous recipe first down, and Travis Moyer is telling his squad, yeah, hurry, hurry up, up to the line. Let's yep. get right up under center and, and get this going. And now Moyer wants to call a timeout, and they will. So a Binkley Real Estate timeout called by Travis Moyer is fourth and one. This, and I realize you, you want to get to the line and get this done. Yeah. This is a pivotal play in this yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, right. It, it, I'm, I'm probably, you know, we talk about that fourth down OG uh, play to mark that down as a, one of the top plays 
but uh, this might be one of the top plays right here coming up. Take a look at what's coming up this weekend on WOSN. Bath and Shawnee, a crosstown rivalry between those two Western Buckeye League squads. More crosstown rivalry Saturday at 845, Bluffton versus Pandora Gilboa, and then volleyball action from Parkway Sunday at 4 o'clock. And then you look at uh, the upcoming schedule some more, some soccer between Wapak and Ottawa Glandorf, these uh, Titans and Redskins will battle, and then Coldwater and St. Henry in volleyball. And then next weekend, more high school football action here on WOSN as Elida takes on these Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Wapak in their rivalry contest against the St. Mary's Redskins, or St. Mary's Rough Riders, excuse me. And the hard Northern Polar Bears will take on the Ada Bulldogs. That's all coming up on WOSN. 4.03 to go. Here in this fourth quarter, 14 to seven, fourth and one. Yeah. And not, I don't even know if it's fourth and one, it's fourth and three quarters, fourth yeah. and yeah, two thirds of a yard. Yeah, something like it. It might be, it might be a yard, it, but it ain't, it ain't anything more than that. And we've seen Wapak a couple of times yep. in these situations, just line up in the old wing tee and just shove as many people ahead as you can. Right, and said, hey, you know, I think we're better than you up front. We're just gonna pound it straight forward and our best on your best to see if you can stop it. I think that might, what we're gonna see is probably gonna be uh, Mets, Mets throw up the middle. So nope. Moyer dives straight yep. ahead. He got the Lee's famous recipe first down, just shy of the 40-yard line. That'll move the chains and retain the possession for Wampoff. Good job by Moyer here. He kind of stepped, looked to the left a little bit and kind of went right between the uh, center and the guard and seen a seam and got the first down. Good job. So ball to 41, but it does give Wampoff the Lee's famous recipe first down. And Continue to roll the clock here as they lead 14 to 7. This official on the sideline is getting a little animated about getting that clock started. <laughs> it's quite comical. He had both arms of swinging. <laughs> it was funny. Moyer will go under center. Mextro takes the hand off, goes right up the gut. Got Some a helmet, helmet hitting going on down there. Yeah, a helmet yeah. loose. Is that Alec Schrader who's. I think nope, it's Caleb Yoder. Yep, here. that's Caleb Yoder. Second time has come off tonight. Lost the lid and a timeout called yep. by Ottawa Glandorf. Mm -hmm. You see the Layfield Industrial Welding Supply replay. You see Yoder there with no helmet. Yeah. And he knows yep, that's going to cost me a play. Yep. 3.35 to go here in this fourth quarter. And an impressive drive started by Wapak with 6.35 to go. So they've ran three minutes off the clock here. The following eight plays of, uh, have all been runs by you know, no surprise that at this stage of the game that they've ran the ball eight straight plays, but it's worked. They've picked up a couple of Leafs famous recipe first downs and have been able to chew the clock and matriculate the ball down the field. Yeah, and I bet there's going to be uh, at least one more, if not two, uh, run plays before they would either have to turn the ball over and downs or get another first down. So that's the final timeout called by Ottawa yeah. Glandorf. The Pinkley Real Estate timeout for OG now reads zero. So Ottawa Glandorf trailing by seven right now. They got Otto, or they've got Elida, St. Mary's, and Bath on the upcoming schedule as they get deeper and deeper into Western Buckeye League play. But uh, for Wapak, they'll play St. Mary's next Friday night in a big rivalry game. Van Wert expected to be one of the upper echelon teams, maybe the team to beat in Western Buckeye League coming up. And then Van Wert, or excuse me, Shawnee, they'll play in week five as you see the Wapak faithful there in the far end zone. Yeah. Second and seven upcoming here for the Redskins. They'll go back straight to that wing team, Mextro. And Nelson in the backfield as they try to get out of Glendorf to jump yeah. off sides there, get you an easy five yards. Luckily, the Titans stayed on their side of the football. Mm -hmm. They'll hand off to Mextro to the 35 yard line, a gain of three. Big down right here. Big down for the Titans. Titans got to get a stop. Big down for the Redskins. They get a first down. This might, might that, do it, I yep. think. It at least will be close. It'll be very, very difficult. Uh, nonetheless, Titans, probably if they do take a knee after the first down, uh, Titans less than a minute at the very minute at the very most coming back here. So three minutes, yes, approaching three minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Third and four for Wapak. Titans out of timeouts. It's conceivably the Redskins going to run it once again. Now, Mextro behind Moyer. They'll hand Ooh, off to Mextro. Job. And wow. a big stop in the that's backfield Caleb Yoder, I believe. by 
Austin Moss, oh, I believe. Austin, yeah. Austin Moss, the six foot, 185 pound senior, slipped past his blocker, yeah, he sure makes did. the stop, and you see on the Layfield Industrial Welding Supply, yeah, he fights off, off the blocker the and blows Mextro up. Great job by Austin Moss. Huge play. So that will send the punt unit on for the Redskins with 2.30 to go. I wonder if the Redskins will go a hard count, maybe try to draw the Titans, get get a five. The Titans got to play disciplined up front and make sure they don't jump, give them an extra five yards because, again, five five yards here with their punter, pretty solid punter. It ain't going to matter if he goes back five. Yeah. Which I think they're going to take to delay a game anyways. Well, I was going to yep. say, do you trot the offense out there, out there and try to get them to, snap, to, to jump off sides and take the delay a game, give yourself five more yards anyway? I think they just took it anyhow. Yeah. I thought they'd get up there early and try to at least right. like hard ah, da, 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 da. Yep, yep. Right. try to get them off, but they kind of got out there late and just let it let it wind down. So fourth down now is the Titans conceivably are going to get another crack at the football, but I, I don't know if there's a way to overstate how big of a play that is for Austin Moss yes, on that third was down. Huge, huge play. Big tackle for loss, and now it'll be fourth down, and the Redskins will punt it away. The punt by Beach. To the near side, bounces right at the 22-yard line, goes out maybe at the 20. And good. with no timeouts, OG's going to get the football back. And a, good, and a good punt. A good punt. It goes out of bounds, and, you know, the Titans can't catch it and get a, a run back or anything. You're assured that hey, we're at about the 20-yard uh, line. Now let our defense do it. So another punt here by Wapak in the fourth quarter. Gives Ottawa Glandorf the football back. Titans will have to go 81 yards and kick an extra point to tie this football game up. Two minutes, no timeouts. Good thing about in high school football is at least the first down of the clock stops. Three receivers and a running back to the right of Mormon in the shotgun. He'll drop back to pass. Has to avoid the rush. Now will stop. Fires it down the far side. Nearly intercepted by Wapak. A couple of Redskins yeah. almost had a yeah. chance at it. There was about five of them around there. I think the freshman, I think I was Mullen say. was around that one. Kid's around the ball a lot. Yeah, he has uh, come on here, Jarrett Mullen, the 5'5 five, five freshman. Uh, from that quarterback spot, has came in and, and certainly made an impact here in the second half. Yeah, I think Jolly was also around that one too, I believe. So second and ten upcoming here for the Titans. And uh, one of those dangerous throws that you get from yeah. – uh, and, and trying to make a quick play. Yeah, Landon Mormon's just right. trying to get – he knows we got two minutes to go and we're down yeah. by seven. We've got to make right. a play. Well, you also got to get a first down too. I mean, you got to you got to get at least ten yards or you only got four four downs, so you can't get it all back at once. Mormon in the shotgun will fire oh, once again. It's nice batted down. play. Yeah, Mextro, Mextro got wow. his mitts on it, threw it, and he just yeah. as – he, just as Mormon released it, Mextro jumped up. Might have hit him in the face yeah. mask or at least a chest plate that he got a, He got an awful lot of that football. He sure did. And a good thing for the Redskins that he made that heck of a play because there was a Seaver streaking down that seam wide open, and that it might have been at least first down for sure, if not out to about midfield, I think. So Audible Glandorf in search of an Allen Davis insurance touchdown. Trails 14-7, 149 to go, third and 10 for the Titans looking to avoid starting the season 0-2 and 0-1 in the Western Buckeye League. Yep. Mormon in the shotgun with three receivers and a running back to his right. He'll take the snap. He'll fire to the outside. It's caught. Nope. Nope, nope incomplete. And that might have looking for Grant Schrader. Yeah, and again, that might be a blessing because that would only have been about a two yards yeah. and the clock would have run at least with the uh, incomplete pass. The, the clock stops. This ball game right here. Fourth and ten upcoming here for the Titans. Redskins get a stop. This one's over, I would say. Titans got to come up with a play offensively. 1.45 to go as Carter Dueling will check back in at the wide receiver spot. Fourth and ten. Second straight drive. The Titans have been faced with a fourth and ten as Mormon will be in the shotgun. Same formation they've been in this entire drive. Pivotal fourth down. As Mormon drops back to pass, he'll fire right. He's got a wide open receiver, Grant Schrader, with the catch out nice to the 40-yard line. Big play I, yeah. by Grant Schrader. And that's the same play that they had, that Mextro knocked down. They would have got that same exact play. That's the same play they ran, and he was wide open, but Mextro knocked that one down. Lee's famous recipe first down. They'll send Schrader in motion here to the near side to send three receivers to the bottom of your screen. Mormon will roll this side. 
looking, looking, turns, fires, Ooh. nearly caught by Schrader, <laughs> and it went through his hands and could have been caught by Carter Dooley on the right. back end. He might still be running if he, he snagged absolutely, it. Absolutely, because it kind of got tipped. If he kind of got his head around earlier, he might have been able to come up with that because everybody was going to the football. could have been tipped over, and he could have keep running this kind of much here on the – Overthrow. If he got his head around, maybe he could have jumped <laughs> up and got it. There was nobody around him. Yeah, Carter Dueling, six foot two. If he yeah. was six foot three, might have got a fingertip on yeah. that bad boy. Right. 124 to go here in this fourth quarter. Titans at the 41 yard line still have 60, or excuse me, 59 yards to go. Mormon in the shotgun, two receivers out wide to each side. He'll drop back to pass, looks up the seam once again, turns and fires, and that's short. just short. Yep. Of the intended target. Kind of short on that one a little bit. Wasn't sure what didn't step into and let it go like he did on the fourth down. He kind of like side-armed it. He was like, well, I don't know. So he knows he should shoot it. Looking double for coverage there. Yeah. With the, the first down marker didn't didn't get it there, and it'll be third and ten now. Yeah. He threw one of those passes last week kind of similar to that, and he kind of doubted himself, threw a little short, and got picked off late in the game. I'm sure that was in his mind. He just kind of didn't step in and just sling it. Third and ten for the Redskins as they or for the Titans as the Redskins show blitz. Mormon will just turn, fire, nice looking for dueling downfield. Oh, Caught at what the a thirty catch. yard line, brought down at the oh, twenty five. Oh, what a catch into double coverage, two guys. Great catch by Carter Dueling. Nate Metzger tried to go up and get yes. the interception, and you see on the Layfeld Industrial and Welding wow. Supplies replay, they just turned and fired, and you see Metzger, number five, try to go get it, couldn't, lands in the hands of Dueling, and yeah. the spike by Mormon. What a big play to get down to the 25-yard line. You know, not bad for a safety. I'll tell you, he made a <laughs> heck of a throw on that one, didn't he? No, and he, knew, mean, he knew where he was going with the football right away. He caught yes, the snap and just turned and chucked it. it and a great concentration by Carter Dueling when two two sets of hands go up in front of your face to snag it, <sighs> and he's the one who comes down with yeah, it. You know, Carter Dueling hasn't played organized football since seventh grade and comes up with a play like that. Uh, Mormon, who has been a safety, I tell you, he threw the heck of a ball. Great spiral. Wow. So Two great the, plays yeah, by seniors. Fantastic play. Second and ten now after the spike. They'll fire a rump over the middle of the field at the 20-yard line. Caught it, but they're going to have to move quickly as we yep. have one, one minute remaining minute. on the Structure Ohio couple, Outdoor scoreboard. A couple yards for a first down, third and two. Still got to get a first down and get new downs. Mormon in the shotgun once again. Turn oh. fires nearly intercepted Ooh. by Joey Truesdale. Yeah. A miscommunication yes. there by the Titans as Alex Schrader, I believe, was running up the seam, and he, Mormon thought he was running it out, nearly intercepted by yeah. Moore, or by Truesdale, excuse me. The only good thing is, is now they get a stop in play, so the, the clock stops, but it is fourth down. See if Titans can make another fourth down play here. Fourth and two, they got to get two yards at the very least, or this one's over. 48 seconds remain in this Western Buckeye League. Lid lifter, 14-7, Wapak leads Ottawa Glandorf. Here come the Titans on fourth and two. Mormon in the shotgun. He'll send three receivers to his left and a running back as well. Mormon turns, fires, oh, balls batted down. down. Nice play by Rump. Jaden Rampula. Yeah, Rampula. Bats Heck, the football yes, down did. on fourth wow. down, oh. and it looks like the Redskins are going to escape. Take a look at this Layfeld Industrial Welding Supply replay. Rampula yeah. knew he wasn't going to get to the quarterback, but threw his right paw in the air, bats it down. That's yeah. a big play and on fourth had, down. And uh, Mormon had a receiver. I didn't see if it was Cy Rump or if it was Alex Schrader, but that was a heck of a heck of a play by Rampula to knock that one down. Wow. You know what? Your seniors come up with big plays, or junior, actually. He was a junior uh, lineman. The line came through and, and made the big play when they had to. So 45 seconds to go, Wapak. Going to get in victory formation, take yeah. the snap. I'll have to snap it one, one more, more time. time yep. Wapak gave up a couple of big plays there on that final out of yeah. a Glandorf drive. But the Redskins are going to escape and move to 1-1, one and one, grab their first victory of the season. Out of a Glandorf will drop to 0-2, but got a little... Got a little hectic there on that final out of a Glandor drive. Yep. But the Redskins will come to this sideline and celebrate. They beat Ottawa Glandorf 14-7 in this Western Buckeye League season opener. 
heck of a game. They, I tell you, the fans got their money's worth. That was a great game, and uh, some guys making some plays there down the end, tighten offensively, and, and then the Redskins defensively won. They needed to make a play. That was a heck of a game. 14-7 was the score after the first quarter. 14-7 is the final. Wapak takes down Ottawa Glandorf here at Harmon Stadium. What a fantastic start to the Western Buckeye League football season. Wapak victorious 14-7 over OG here on WOSF. We're back here at Wapak wrapping up a 14-7 victory for the Redskins. I'm Garrett Seawright joined alongside Wapak head coach Travis Moyer. And, and, and how, how are the, the beats per minute going on right now with the old ticker? <laughs> Obviously, it was a grind tonight. And uh, we had to find a way to win a football game. And, uh, you know, really credit OG. They played exceptionally hard, extremely well coached. And uh, uh, really proud of our kids, how we rose up there at the end. And obviously, we had some guys that needed to step up and make plays. Uh, fortunately for us, we did that. We knew if we were going to be successful this year, we had to lean on our defense. And uh, I thought they came up big for us tonight. We, we knew whoever won the line of scrimmage was probably going to we're going to win the football game. It wasn't always the case for you tonight, but when it mattered most, you guys won the line of scrimmage both offensively and defensively. Well, we really know that's the key to the outcome of any football game. You know, we've obviously got to dominate up front and uh, uh, do a good job of uh, blocking and then also getting off blocks and, and, and stopping their run game. So uh, uh, really credit both sides of the line of scrimmage. You know, like I said, it, it wasn't like we controlled it for 48 minutes, but at times we needed to, we, we were able to control the line of scrimmage. Two games complete against two very good football teams. Uh, what do you like about your squad after these, after splitting one and one here? Well, you know, we knew it was going to be a grind. You know, obviously we're seeing some very good competition right now and uh, just looked like two teams tonight looking for that first win. And uh, sometimes that first one's always the hardest. And uh, uh, fortunately, we were able to come away with it tonight. Uh, it doesn't get any easier next week for us. And we knew that going into this season it was going to be extremely tough for us. And, you know, but we're one and one right now. And we just need to continue to improve each and every day, continue to get better and continue to grow as a team. Congrats on the win. Go enjoy it with your team. Thanks so much. Appreciate it for having us. That's Travis Moyer, the Wapak head coach, joining us here at Wapak High School as the Redskins recap a 14-7 win over the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside now with Scott Mag And, Scott, it's it's time to, to name our Stolly Insurance uh, Hustle Award winner. You can check out highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page. But who stood out to you tonight that, that, that has earned the Stolly Hustle well, Award I, tonight? I think we, you just talked about it with Coach. We talked about the uh, line of scrimmage and how they dominated. And what bigger play than at the end there, that fourth and two of the Titans, uh, they got up, they knocked the ball down, and um, – Names Jaden uh, Rampula. Yeah, Rampula, the number 57, jumps up, knocks it down. He makes a heck of a play. So for that, we awarded him the Stolle uh, Award winner tonight. Yeah, and Jaden Rampula, a couple times we called him that he was in the backfield. That defensive line for Wapak really showed up at pretty pivotal times. Yeah, and they came up big when they had to. Right, they, they made the plays when they had to. The Titans were making plays coming down the field, but when it mattered the most, Rampula jumped up, knocked that ball down. He, the Titans had an open receiver. It just He just got his hand up there, knocked it down, and, and then won the game for the Redskins. So Wapak moves to 1-1 one one with the 14-7 victory. Ottawa Glandorf drops to 0-2. A similar situation they were in last year that they made the state semifinals, so um, not necessarily reason to panic right now, but, but also uh, some things to work on, but, but some positives tonight for the Titans as well. Absolutely. We talked about it at the beginning of the broadcast tonight. We said we want they, the Titans, Ken, Ken Triner, wanted to have them improve. I thought they improved from the first quarter to the second quarter to the third quarter and even to the fourth quarter, you know, down seven with two minutes to go, and they drove down the field and had a shot for, to get with inside the 10-yard line and have a chance yeah. to at least tie this one up. So, I mean, again, the Titans are getting better and better and better, and that's what all coaches want. You want to get better and you want to be playing your best football at the end of the year, and you know what? If you get lucky enough to make it and you're playing your best football, Anything can happen. Yeah, that's exactly right. The Wapak Redskins victorious tonight, 14-7 to over the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. That'll do it from us here at Harmon Stadium for our fantastic WOSN crew, Wayne Getz, Derek Henry, Jacob O'Neill, Seth Hegemeyer, and Marshall Jordan. Scott Mag, I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long from Wapak. Redskins victorious, 14-7 over OG on WOSN. <laughs>